happening? Hello. Hello. Thank you for calling um. Luther Memorial Church and Preschool. If you know your party's <laughs> extension. <laughs> Luther Memorial Church and Preschool? Yeah. What the hell's that? That's where I have to go register tomorrow morning. So where are you at now? I'm using Emma's phone. Are you at Emma's? No. She doesn't know I have it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You phone this shit again. No, it's just for today. Tomorrow I'll be good. Tomorrow I'll be good. What are and you how are you going to get her phone? How are you going to get her phone to her? You know that uh, that's her work number? Well, it's Friday. I thought it would be okay. I'll just give it to her soon. Oh, come on. Don't be a when stick you in the stop? butt. I'm not a stick in the butt. you got to stop doing this stuff. Uh, Where have you been all day? I went to Emma's house so I could get the rest of my clothes. And what did I do after that? Oh, that's right. I took Emma's phone. <laughs> and then she went home to her other house. And I guess, like, I don't know whatever the fuck that Mexican comes from. Why? So what else have you done today? Jamie picked me up with Debbie's ID. With cocaine in her pussy. What? <laughs> cocaine in her pussy? That's what you oh, told like, me this morning. Cocaine in her pussy? I... <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what you told me this morning. Is that what she did? I did not tell you cocaine in her pussy. What is yeah, you wrong did. with you? Ah, what? What have you been doing? Well, I'll tell you. I went to Pink's to get a hot dog, and I had extra mustard and ketchup, and I put pickles on it, and it was... So good. Hey, Lila Daisy. Then How are I you? I had a strawberry milkshake, and I dipped my french fries in it, and I said it wasn't good. So I bought a vanilla milkshake, and I dipped my fries in that. And did you like that? Yes. I ate it all. Then I had to poop. So the rest in the restroom, it's really good. But I just had to all come out. So I went across the street, and it um, has a sign on the front, and it says the last Radio Shack ever, and I thought it would be a good place to poop. So I went to the back, but there was no restroom, just employees only, and I opened that door, and there was a fucking toilet, so I shit there. Hmm. Last Radio Shack ever. Seemed like a good place to poop. It's great. Good girl. You pooped on the door there. I'm proud of you. Yeah, I'm a big girl. Anyway, um, then <laughs> Jamie and I went to the bar, and I couldn't, I can't drink, so I kept ordering a Shirley Temple. I don't even know what that is, but I ordered it. It's a Shirley Temple. It's, it's, it's nothing. Well, it was it's something that was good, but I told it's him, what do you have that tastes good but won't get me drunk? And then I lifted my leg all the way up to show him I had an ankle bracelet. And she said, oh, okay, I'll make you a Shirley Temple. I was like, oh, I'm not supposed to have any hard drinks. She's like, it's okay, honey. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. So what else did you do? What else did you do? What else did you do? And that, that's it. I, I worked. I wound up killing my battery in the new car. Oh, no. Four ways on. How did you? Four ways? Are you okay? Why did you have to pull over? Well, I didn't have to pull over. It's when I get back to the rail yard where I parked my truck. Oh, you left I your lights on? Yeah, I left the four ways on all day. Oh, no, you must have hit the button without noticing. I must have. 
That's what I figured too. But got it started. It's been fucking. I don't have to kind of figure out what the hell was wrong with it before realizing that I left the four ways on. Yeah, that sucks. So I jump started it from the truck and came home and fed the dogs, got the fire going, trying to get the house up to fucking at least 65 degrees right now. It's at like 58. Oh, no. What about the dogs? Eh? Oh, God, the dogs are fucking fine anyway. Roscoe's got a thick and fur coat and Sadie's always in the bed anyway. Are you... Do you park, like, all by yourself? Nobody parks around you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, a bunch of other people park around me, too, but... Why didn't they tell you? Because nobody was there. Well, nobody could, nobody could get to my, in my car to turn it off anyway. All they have to do mm-hmm. is get on your shared CB and say... The numb skull who left his four ways on and needs to have him turned off. Like, well, I sprinkle cake. It. Long time no see. Nobody even knows whose car it is right now because it's a new car. But it would just be polite to say, hey, anybody have an olive green journey? And nobody would say yes. And then they would just ask on the CB. I thought people in Maine were neighborly. Mm-hmm. No, nobody else was there except for one other guy, and he didn't know who the news came, who, who's the new car was. Well, yeah, that's he what I mean. He doesn't even know me. Hello. Will the owner of a new car or Lauren Armstrong please bring your attention to your battery running out? Do you have to like replace um, the battery? What'd you do? No, I just jump started up. Hook the battery, and boost the cables up to the truck and up to the car, and jump started up. I mean. You better come to say that you were coming. Transmission. No, not transmission, just the battery. Oh, the you know what alternator. they say about great minds, Sprinkle Cake? Yeah, well, when the yeah. alternator's not running, when the car's yeah. not running, the alternator yeah. doesn't do any good. your alternator if your car starts tomorrow. Well, yeah, because it's charged up now. I mean transmission. It has nothing to do with transmission. It was the battery. First gear comes first. All right. One smidge is five smudges, so I'm counting. The car's not running. The alternator can't charge up the battery. Okay. This one's just sitting there, and the lights are going. Okay. The battery runs down. You see? Okay. Anyway, so that's great. So you got Emma's phone, aren't you going to ask me why I called Emma? Well, I didn't even check her phone. I just took it and ran. <laughs> you called Emma? Yeah, why? twice. Why are you going to fuck her, you pig? Well, I'm trying to find out if she had heard from you all day. No, I didn't call her or nothing. I just came by and said, I'm going to get my clothes, bitch. <laughs> and she's like, all right, I'm in the shower. So I was like, hmm, I don't have a phone, but you have a phone. And you're going to go somewhere where you will have a phone all weekend. So I'll just you use your phone. And I am. You need not to do things like that. I can do what I want. And you'll still no, love you me. can't. So kiss my ass, bitch. You, you, can't, you can't do it and don't be saying that shit. You can't do what you want. You did what you I want for a long time and look where it got you. Yeah, I, well, tonight I'm going to go eat a really nice dinner. And I, it, it got and you addicted to drugs. Uh, and drugs. then it got you in trouble. I haven't done any drugs. I sound fine, right? You sound like you might have done something. Oh, God. Did you? Don't did, lie to me. Did you? No. God, I told you I'm clean. Well, no, you're not completely clean. It's going to be yeah, I am. Two I'm th- it's going to be two. Th- it's going to be two or three weeks before all that shit is out of you. No, it doesn't take that long, stupid. Yeah, well, you wait and see. You wait and see. And also, you are fat. <laughs> doesn't matter if I'm fat or 
bone thin. You still love me. Bone thin. I wouldn't go that okay. far. Away. You didn't uh, make any attempt to go see Victor, did you? Mm, no, I. Huh? Tell me honestly. No, I haven't even thought of that, but I will now. Well, you better not. Why? Well, because one, he's part of one of your cases, one of your charges. Another, I don't want you around him anymore. But why? He's cool. Uh-huh. He's my son, kind of. Yeah, kind of, you don't jerk your son off. <laughs> There's nothing funny about that. that I'm just see, like that, right, that, that right there tells me that you did some drug today. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. <laughs> You're drunk. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Fuck, I've only been home for like an hour and a half, two hours at the most. Shut the fuck up. I, get, I don't I care. I gotta go to bed. Stop talking I gotta go to bed soon. No, no, no. When I start talking, don't start talking over me so you can't hear anything I'm saying. Yeah, pull over here. We're all, it says state line. What the? Where it says oh. state line. No, Who, I'm not talking to you, so shut up. Who's with? No, no fucking shit. Who are you with? Nobody. Shut up, Jamie. Yeah, whatever. You say well, that and I'm going to believe that you're with a guy. I'm not, oh God, of course you'll believe that, because that's all you ever think that people want, is cops yep. if they're a woman, because you're a man, and you know all men just want fucking hot chicks with big titties, yeah. tiny little well, I, be I believed you before when you said you hadn't done anything with anyone else. Well, I haven't. Just to find, just to find out that you had. I haven't. I used a glove, and I looked away during the explosion, so stop tripping. Doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. Your hand, your hand was cranking him. <laughs> wow. You find that you find that funny, but I find that you cheating I on me. I just finished it. It wasn't even the whole thing. I got it. It was disgusting. It's fucking disgusting. Oh, we well, didn't see it. What's funny when you say it, Lauren? Doesn't fucking matter. You must have loved it. All hardly. Gross. You want to go find him again? I didn't love it. Cranking on him. You must have loved it. You want to go find him again? You did it to begin with, so you didn't love me enough to not do it. I don't want to jack him off, stupid. You didn't Mike love me D enough to not, not to do it the first time. Mike D was going to give us $500 for the video, but he only gave us 75 I don't give a fuck who, what Mike D was going to give you. It's fucking stupid. This is the dumbest That's thing I've ever heard. Sorry. Eh? You get a fucking fiance and you go jerk oh. off another guy and I claim that you didn't do it because you had a glove on. Anyway. Why are you tripping? Because I'm pissed off about the whole thing. I don't know why you'd be so mad. I didn't cheat. I didn't like it. I didn't want it. Yeah, you did. You did cheat. cheat. So. You did cheat. You had to hang around another guy's talk. Hey, Octopushy. Long time no see. even for my pleasure, though. I don't give a shit if it was for your pleasure or not. You did it. Do you think Tom Cruise divorced Nicole Kidman when and she I, kissed that guy and, and I, I... And I told you... She had sex I had with told, him. I had told you and Victor that I trusted Victor. That I didn't mind you being around Victor because I trusted him. So... And you went and did that. Drugs did a really good job for you, didn't they? I'm not on drugs, stupid, so why are you fucking scolding me? You were when you did that. So? You don't even want me looking at another fucking woman. But it's all right for you to put your hands... Get a woman or not. But it's a, I want but it's you all to right for you to other women. Go try it so I can laugh at you when you tell me the story about how they reject you, Alan. You don't even want me to look at another woman. But it's all right for you to put your hands around another guy's <laughs> talk. Hey, Jim Rouse's mustache. Yeah, How's it going? Love. It's fucking gross, Winnie. I didn't want to do it. I didn't even mean I, to. I love a good bowl of sugar. I swear to God that you fucking loved me. Besides, Victor was a minor. It's not even cheating. It's molestation. Yeah, them drugs did you a lot of good, didn't they? All right, well, are you going to keep preaching to me, Pop-Off, or are you going to, like, jack off for me? 
I'm not jacking off. Come on, crank it, yo. <laughs> no, I'm good. Good you. You're not too horny about it? No, not right now. Are you fucking kidding? No, I, I thought we were going to have some some stroking off fun. We're not going to have any sexual fun until you're out of rehab. I'm not oh, in God. rehab right now, sexy. Yep. Yeah. Well, we're still going to wait till you're out of rehab. Why? And if I find, if, if I hear of any stories of you doing anything fucked up, or trying to do anything fucked up, then we may never have anything. Come on, you pedo potato, crank it. No, I'm all good. When was the last time you cranked off? This morning. <laughs> really? Why? Yep. Oh, because you talked to Emma. Because I could. How come? The fucking Did you good you. Nope. Why? What? Nope. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I want to know about everything you do with my penis. My Yoshi got cron trapped. Well, you better get your ass through fucking rehab and get out here and be able to see it all then. How much have you drank tonight? None. I've been drinking coffee since I've been home. No, he doesn't. Yeah. I have to work tomorrow. It's gonna be a long day. So I'm gonna be working I'll be lucky if I'm if I'm even able to get the full fourteen hours that I expect to get in because I can only work fourteen hours tomorrow because of my log book. Your log the jobs I, the jobs I have is gonna take me up to 14 hours or damn close to it. Because yeah. I have to take it up the last hey, empty trailer has gone. to Kingfield on the last one and then go back to Waterville and I might not be able to make it. Well, so I, I might just drive because I might not have enough time. I might not have enough time to make it there with all the other ones that I have to do. Well, try not to do so much, okay? Well, no, I'm trying to do as much as I can. Come on, I want to get the hours in. I need I need the money. You need You're going to be in fucking rehab. You're going to be in fucking rehab, and I'm praying to God it's going to straighten your ass out. I'm already straight. Listen to me. I'm great. Because if your ass is straight, no, I'm glad to hear that. ready for you to be able to come here. So I'm trying to get some bills paid off. I'm trying to get some shit done in the house. Your brand new battery was drained by having your blinkers on for a couple of hours. <clears throat> for a couple of hours. It was, it was yeah, 11 yeah. hours. It was 11 hours. 11 hours. Yeah. What are you talking about? It works for 11 hours today. How come? Because I usually work for 11 or 12 or 13 or 14 hours a day. You sure did, Sprinkle Cake. You already know that. Okay. What are you, con what are you concentrating on on the Internet? You can hear you the keys away. I'm in the car, not on the Internet, you moron. Who's with you? Just me and... Nobody else. Dodge journey time. No, somebody else you're is so with you. You're so predictable. <clears throat> Someone else is with you. It's obvious. You're you told All me right. by the Say hi, line. Jamie. Lauren doesn't believe me. Here, wait. Let me roll the window down because your cigarette smoke stinks. What's going on? Just tell Lauren hi. I put you on speaker. Tell him to shut uh, the up. Hey, Lauren. Hi, Jamie. What's going on? He's being a bitch. Mm, nope. <laughs> not, a, not a thing. Did you see that idiot? Yeah, we almost hit him. That was funny. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Oh, my God. You're not supposed to push it all the way down. And it was <gasps> the end gear. God, your boobs look great when you have the seatbelt like that. 
Don't touch them. <laughs> Don't touch them. All right, I'm going to take you off speaker now because Lauren is being a caca head. Hello? Hi, Lauren. Hello. Hi, Hi Jamie. Don't tell her hi like that, you fucking cunt rag. I said hi, Jamie. I know. I heard how you said it. I heard how you said it. It wasn't any specific way that I said it. I heard how you said it. No, there wasn't any specific way that I said it. Oh, whatever. So what do you plan on doing the rest of the night? I'm going to go have some fun with Jamie. Doing what? I don't know. What do you think? Just chilling. What kind of chilling? I don't know. How many cocks? Suckers, are you gonna be chilling with tonight? Why? Are you, why are you caring? Eh? Because I don't want you fucking up. Hey, John Ryan. Yours and my future is riding on how you behave. I'm behaving high. I am so high. Being hot is not the fucking point. Yeah. It's always the, the point. Most. Being the point hot is, if, is the, the most. The point is, if you thing. fuck up, we're not gonna we're Ever. not gonna be able to be together. The point is, is if you fuck up, we're not gonna be able to be together. I'm not gonna fuck up. Yes, this problem? is right. All I want to do is I think chill. it's right after the Vegas go call. Jamie. We're my problem is, a whiskey drink. my problem okay. is that you didn't love me enough to leave your hands off another guy's cock. Oh God, why are you fucking yelling at me? So how do I? How do I know that you really love me enough to, to be able to fuck in? Because you're much more to to welcome when you know you're being recorded. So this I'm going to go back to jail and call you from there. El Pedo Loco. Okay. My point, like I was saying, is, is to you the didn't left. love me enough. But yes, it takes place calling. on the same day after the Vegas call. Your hand off some of the, around some of the guy's cock. No, how, you, how do I know that you love me enough to not do some stupid shit and wind up back in jail and expect me to wait for you? I did it because I love you. If I didn't do it, I wouldn't have had the money for the fake ID. Mike D said he was going to give us all that money, and I had to split 150 with fucking Victor. I didn't get anything, okay? And another thing, so you lied to me about the fake ID because you told me you took it out of your trust fund. Oh, the money that you get. Whatever, I was on drugs. Maybe it is the night before. I'm not now, so whatever. And then the fake ID was just a stupid idea anyway, because Emma told me what it looked like. Well, I tried. I think you're right. You always told me that It's got the I same date, go but it see. says 918, so I was assuming that was 918 at night, but now that I think about it, it might be right. It might be 918 in the morning. Yeah, and I'm coming up with an excuse. I tried so yeah, Well, hard. I believe that you did. Wow. I believe that you did, but I, I didn't want some fucking uh, fake ID bullshit that obviously hey Dan, was not a real ID when you showed it to him. It was worth a try. You didn't, didn't tell me not to do no, it. No. You just did it. Your, your passport and your birth certificate would have been enough of a try. No. It was not a fake uh, ID. First of all, I don't have a passport. Big ID just gets you in trouble. I don't know why the fuck you think I have a passport. I applied for one, and I didn't get it. Bitch, because I'm on probation. Okay? You can get a state ID. I applied for it, and guess what? They sent it to my sister's old address. And guess what? That was forwarded to her new address in Aspen, and that's where she lives. And she was lying about being in the Grand Canyon. And she told me she'd forward it when she got back because now they are traveling and they're in Toronto. So I wish I could go and I can't. And my daughter. Oh, that's cool, her. John. And all you want to do is talk shit about me cranking one out of the HIV weenie from Victor. I'm tired yeah, of you're it. You're fucking right. Well, you might be hey, tired no, of it, but I'm tired of you doing this stupid shit. And tell me you love me when you do this stupid shit. I don't care why you're mad at me, because I am not doing anything wrong.
a damn door. I'm mad because when you tell me I love you, I believe it. I do love you. I'm not when you tell me you don't, on it. When you tell me you don't cheat on me, I believe it. Why you treat me so bad? I don't lie to you about the two most important things. I love you, and I don't cheat on you. I know. It's like watching TV show reruns. So, I love you, and I don't cheat on you. So. Now, you notice how your voice went down on that one? Oh, that's a different one. Why don't you shut up? Well, because I'm tired, and I don't feel like it. Well, you should shut up because you're tired. You should shut up and go to bed and let me and Jamie sled around and just have a good time. And tomorrow I'll be good, you know that? Mm-hmm. You, want, you want to sled around and go ahead, but if I find out about it. Look at that face, Todd makes. I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. How do I know you haven't already done something? Oh, God, of course. Holy shit. You are the fucking most jealous person in the entire world. Really? You didn't even want Emma to give me a hug? No. Stop jumping. You didn't even want Dan to give me a a man hug? A shoulder bump. You said a man hug, a shoulder bump. Whatever. Okay, you jacked off without a condom this morning. I'm going to do whatever I want to. And tomorrow, I'll be a good girl forever, okay? Yeah, so because I jacked off this morning, you uh, that's an excuse for you to be able to do whatever you want to do. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm just letting you know that part of it, part of it means you jack off. <laughs> with whoever you want to do it with, huh? No, I didn't say that, stupid. Tonight, I get to sow my royal oats. Go ahead. If I find out anything, you won't be coming out here. If you find out anything like what, why don't you just call Jamie tomorrow morning, okay? Why? I'm sure you'll fuck up and record it. Oh, God. Here we go. You're not a king. I know that. You what? I'm going to go to clubs at Moon Day. Well, I'm sure you'll flirt with every guy in there. Oh, sure, yeah. You're sure I'm going to flirt with every guy in there. Yeah. Yes! In his face! In the face! Hey, Eric Lover. <clears throat> no problem. Glad to be here. Glad you're here. I was going to go over Tony's tonight. Glad we're all here. Good. I said I was going to go over Tony's tonight. And After I, I get back from work. What? And I said good. But I didn't go because I have to work a lot of hours tomorrow. You still have 45 minutes. Get your stupid ass over there. I try. No. I do. I appreciate it. So I decided not to go over because I have to work a lot of hours tomorrow. What? And I'm trying to concentrate on making money. Hey, yo, what up? This is Baraka. I have Lauren Armstrong on my show today. Hi, Lauren. How are you? No, yeah, I'm not doing any show. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Did you call... Did you thank Emma for the help that she gave you? She didn't give me no help. She's stupid. Winning. If it wasn't for Emma, you and I wouldn't have been able to talk while you were in jail. It was Dan, not Emma. Emma's stupid. You couldn't call me directly. You did once, and you weren't supposed to. Sally? So, without Emma... You wouldn't have been able to talk to me while you were in jail. Did you go to George Bush's funeral? 
Plus, Emma sent you money too. I don't care. Plus, she put money on your today. Plus, she put money on your phone. Whatever. Stop treating her like she's an asshole. Hello? She is your best friend. Hi. Hey. Hi. I have Emma's phone. Do you? Yeah. Hi, Dan. Hey. How are you do, Dan? Hey, how's it going? Well, going all right. I think I'll feel better when Winnie is, is in rehab. I'm going to be there tomorrow. I thought she was going tonight. I am. Well, tomorrow um, night. Well, what do you mean tomorrow night? As long as I'm back in California, I mean, as long as I'm back there by four. Fucking Dan again. again. Wait a minute. What What do you mean back in California? You know, no, I didn't say that. I meant to say California Street. <laughs> Darling Nikki. She's fucking around. She, she's doing everything she can, Dan, to fuck up. No. She, thinks, she thinks she can fool the government. She thinks she can fool everybody. She, she thinks she's fucking... Uh, she, evidently, she thinks she won't get in trouble for anything. Exactly. She thinks she can fool everybody. You go, I'm not you a can't fool. fool you're us. a fool. I'm cool, and you're not cool. Well, Lorne will not be made a fool of. Do you you're understand You're so me? cool, I'm going to call you a coolo. A coolo? Yeah. You're just a pee where you can't get none ever. Your lever. Your vital doesn't back you up. They just look at your ass and call you a flat butt. <laughs> Winnie, talk white, okay? I am white. All of a sudden, she's this big uh, fucking mafia queen now. I That's am. Oh, yeah, she thinks she is. And so I look and I laugh and say, Que pasa? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because this is for La Raza, eh? She spent a few days in jail. Now now she's going to regale us with her hardcore stories of prison. Give me a break. Yeah. I beat yeah. up lots of bitches in there, yo. Yeah. Everybody yeah, yeah, you're real they cool. said, La Huera Loca is coming, too bad I didn't record any of those calls where you were crying the whole time. I wasn't crying. Now all of a sudden you're a badass, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. Cut it out. Learn jacked off this morning. When he shut up. <laughs> Real gangster eating ho-hos and ding-dongs in her cell, right? When yeah. was the last time you creamed your ding dong, Dan? Ding dong, Dan. My ding dong. <laughs> creamed my ding dong. I just said I get. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't want to know. Lauren, what did she take tonight? Nothing. I'm so sober. I don't Can know. Can you tell <laughs> by my voice? <laughs> She says she, she says she hasn't done any drugs, but I'm wondering whether or not she has. Ooh. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's why I wish she was already in rehab. Me too, and that's where she should be. Yeah, Clean that's where she should have gone. Ding dong. Never mind, creamed my ding dong. The only one that should have picked her up would have should have been Debbie. Oh. Cleaned my oh. fucking ding dong. What the fuck? Jamie had Debbie's idea. <laughs> and yeah, frankly, I think Good. Jamie's a bad influence. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Yeah, this would have had to have been before the I guess situation I happened. Well, you're just telling the truth. Jamie doesn't sound like a very good influence. She doesn't sound like a very good influence. Debbie's done a everything. Racist against big titties. Yeah. What? Debbie's done everything to try to get your fucking ass straightened out, Winnie. Lauren, how can Jamie someone goes... be racist against titties? But last week, Debbie orchestrated my rape, and now she's doing what's best for me. Why don't you fucking get your touchy she touchy straight? A rape. Why do I hear children? 
titties. Do I hit children? I don't know, Lauren. How many children do you have locked up in the trailer? I don't have any. Must be you, Winnie. Oh, God, that's right. You can make jokes like that about me now. <laughs> I thought kids. Children. Oh, my God. What's this? Oh, that must be Lauren's TV. Yeah, I got the TV on. Oh, I see. With the television. How you been doing, Dan? Probably really good, right, Dan? Yeah, I'm all right. Had a long day. Are you going to be over? Dan, can you fly in tonight? No, I have work in the morning. Are you sure? Yeah. Can you do it from Nevada, Borneo? <laughs> Where are you? Oh, Hi, Pedro. Somewhere, right. well, obviously, somewhere she's not jail. supposed to be. Who picked you up from Jamie jail? did. Jamie did. Jamie. Oh, Jamie. Jamie. Okay. Oh, With God. Debbie's ID. She somehow has she's Debbie's lying, ID. Right? That's how I really <laughs> Yeah, real good influence. <laughs> Dan. Winnie. Did you know that there's a guy who jacks off thinking of Lauren and he comes on Lauren's picture? Yeah, you told me. Uh, er uh, Von Erk, uh, whatever the guy's name is. Yeah. Von Xavier Von Jerk. That's yeah, right. Xavier Von Jerk off. Exactly. That's what Schumacher does to you, Dan. He, he takes pictures couldn't. of you in his Rocco wear shirt and goes squishy, squishy, squishy. Well, if it was to me, then I wouldn't blame him. <laughs> me neither. He probably cranks a freaking big one out when he looks at me. <laughs> Especially when I'm wearing the Wahlberg. Oh, my God. No, say it. Couple sparklers? No, it. Nothing okay. wrong with gray hair. Lauren has gray hair. I told you. I'm going to kill myself when I got one. Uh, Dan, you know when you and Emma are coming out in February? Emma. Emma can't Emma. come out in February now. She told me she has to work extra hours for overtime. We haven't um, really discussed the exact date, but we'll, we'll get on that. Cool. Expeditiously. Cool. Cool. Are you yeah, when you, they're coming out in February. What was that? Excuse me? I told Winnie, yeah, you you and Emma are coming out in February. Stop saying I Emma. Out February. Well, that drives me nuts. Behave. I have to be in jail. Well, hanging around with Jamie is a, a one-way road to prison. What am I doing hanging around? I should be on that train and gone. Yeah, you should have been a long time ago. She's probably rolling up a duber right now. <laughs> <laughs> a duber. I'm not. I don't do dubers. Yeah, they, they smoke that Duber stuff. It's called the Duber Brothers. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that a little piggy plant? Oh, my God. I love your piggy planter. The hell? 
Jamie has a weed plant in a little planter, and it's shaped like a little piggy. A big, big old chubby happy piggy. Of <laughs> course, of course, Jamie has a weed plant. Of course. Well, yeah. Are you gonna smoke that leaf? It's the devil's lettuce. I saw your titty. <laughs> yeah. Do you have? Where's your straw in this car? Winnie. Smoke those doors if car. you got them. Yeah. I need I'm not doing drugs. My frappuccino. What did they put it? Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> oh God. Hi, Piggy. She's, she's not doing drugs, though, is she, Dan? I'm not yeah. drugging. Let me find out that you're doing drugs. <laughs> I haven't even taken a hit and I'm coughing. After all the money I've sunk oh. into your ass at this point. What? You want to suck what? I said after all the money I've sunk into your ass over the last couple of days. You haven't sunk anything into my ass, Dan, because I still walk fine. <laughs> oh, God. That was good. She's Lauren, on something. Lauren's going to plunge my I, butthole. I know she's on something. I'm not, I'm not on happy. anything. She's on something. She's wanting to fucking go to bars and fucking dick around with other guys, evidently. I don't want to dick around with other guys. I'm going to go to Club Zamunda. It, they have pizza yeah. and pasta and arcade games and tickets. And cocktails. Yeah. Woo-hoo. Are you eating Pringles, you fat fuck? No. Oh, they're the generic ones. They don't come in a tube. Can't you be nice? No. No, she can't. Not until she's got all the drugs out of her system. I can be nice. Dan, you have the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen sunken into some dude's head. <laughs> and your hands are really great. And Lauren, you're a very sweet, generous person. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Whatever, Louie. Dan, your physique is quite attractive. Lauren, you show me that you love me. Yeah, whatever. Dan, you are patient and kind. <laughs> And your nipples are so hot. And Lauren, you're also patient and kind. Yeah, whatever. I'm being nice. Come on, Cornville Creeper. Show me some of them corn nuts. Turn it upside down, baby. No, I'm all good. Stop <laughs> pouting, Lauren. <laughs> He's a maniac, <laughs> maniac with no glove. <laughs> I'm not amused. Dan, I thought I made you laugh. Do you want to see my tits? <laughs> She's going to be saying that to a lot of guys tonight, Dan. I will. Only you, Dan. I mean you, Lauren. Only you. Here, look. Watch. I'm showing my tits right now. See? Ooh. She's going to be saying that, and then she's going to have him pull the fucking talks out so she can jack him off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Lauren. That's ridiculous. No, I'm well, not. I thought it was ridiculous that, that, she, that she would fucking she jack Victor off, too, me. but she did. <laughs> she's not going to be in the club giving guys hand jobs. <laughs> no. I didn't think she'd give Victor a hand job, but she did. <laughs> Winnie, you be, you better hope that when Miss Duke gets the report back from Ecuador that he's of age. You better hope. From El Salvador. From, from Ecuador. I don't know. Because I know. You better you better pray to God that she he's that from he's one of, of age. those tortillas. 
And the only card of age to be in your fist for the rest of your life is Lauren. He's not of age, Winnie. He's I'm not of age. I'm going to have my talons clenched around Lauren's weird wiener. I'm in love with it. We're destined to be together. If Victor's not of age, you won't be coming out here. And you and I won't be together. Oh. What? Huh. Huh. What are you eating, Dad? Chocolate. Are they good? It's all right. Hershey's. <laughs> Did you finish all the other chocolates that you got from that Mexican bitch? From the airport? I did. You're good, hi. Yeah. Lauren, do you like C's candies? What the hell? I don't even know what candies you're talking about. By Mary C, I think established in, like, when your um, parents owned Dan's parents. That's, Wait, that's, shut no, up. My parents never fucking owned Dan's, Dan's parents. You say the dumbest <laughs> things, Winnie. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is another way that we know that you've been doing drugs. Because you say some stupid fucking shit. <laughs> Don't do drugs at all. Nothing. Oh. Dad! Tell him. Unbelievable. <laughs> Don't tell you! Amazing how you're the only one laughing at that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dan, what do you want me to what do you want me to send you a Christmas present to? You want me to send it to Emma or you want me to send it to you? What'd you get me? Me? Well, I can't tell you that. You don't have to buy me anything long. He's gonna put a bow on Jesus. Don't have to, but I'm uh, I already did. <laughs> I don't like to accept gifts from anybody. Why? Um, Are you wearing well, your leather jacket right now? You, you like I didn't know exactly what you would like and what Emma would like, so <laughs> I kind of got you both the same thing. Just tell me that you're my friend, and that's enough for me. <laughs> well, I am your friend, but I already bought you a gift. <laughs> What'd you get me? <laughs> Can't tell you that. Well, it wouldn't be much of a present if I told you. There you go. Did you get me a 2018 Dodge Journey? Uh, well, if the payments weren't were, were what they had, then sure. <laughs> Did you get, Dan, some chonies that are size medium in the back and size 3XL in the front? I, I got him something he'll like. What did you get for Jamie? For Jamie? I didn't get Jamie anything. I don't know Jamie. Hmm. What did you get for Debbie? I don't really know Debbie. I probably should get Debbie something, though. She, she's a lot better person than what I thought she was. Get her a nipple ring. She likes those. What did you get for Emma? I can't tell you that because I got you the same thing. Damn it. I thought I'd get you on that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I thought you'd well, tell I'd say, I, 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 I was waiting for that. <laughs> did you get a butt plug, Lauren? For Dan? No. Oh. Did you get a muzzle for Winnie? No, but that's 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 one gift that I should get. Did you get a bullet brush for Dan? No. I can't think of anything. Damn it. That's good. I want to keep this bullshit going. Is that a pine tree? Is that a pine tree? It's fine. A, a what? Oh, I was looking at this video online. It looked like a palm tree. What it's the hell is a flax tree. tree? The hell is a flax tree? 
they never have heard black of it. seeds. You put them in like never. things that you can't notice when you put shitting stuff. Oh, in. I've heard of flax seeds, but I didn't know they came from a flax tree. Only white people eat them. Winning. God. Just like the chai latte, and I didn't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> But I got happy at Starbucks because I know what a grande is. Oh. You got you got happy at Starbucks because you know what a grande grande is, huh? Yeah. Because I'm sure you're not talking Spanish. about coffee. What? <laughs> Nothing. She's probably talking about <laughs> cock. Good one. Here, get this. Starbucks out of our lives and this grande out of our lives. That's what I was thinking. You know, no, I was talking about your cock, Dan. Come on. You're going to lose me very hardly. How cute. How cute. I'm watching a video of <clears throat> bunny who flex leaves. How cute. How come he doesn't use his hands? Probably because you're in charge of that. Oh. What? Damn. <laughs> just on fire. Yeah, we're in the doghouse now. Oh, <laughs> Dan. And you couldn't swing any fucking swing for you. How does that make you feel? Lauren got me so good. You asked for it. <laughs> the other one always talking shit. I'm glad right. Lauren's finally fighting back. I love it. Now I know how Emma felt when Lauren called her a puto or <laughs> I'm glad he's finally fighting back. <laughs> God. Good good for you, Lauren. Don't take none of her shit. <laughs> At the same time that you told me you wouldn't never cheat on me and I didn't cheat you knew on this. And you know and you know that I had already told you that I trusted Victor being around you. I got a job that you didn't approve of. That's all. The little bit, the little bit I know that you had done so many fucking drugs. Oh my god. That you didn't give a fuck about what you were doing or who I you were doing it to. I didn't do anything. You're yeah, you did. Fucker. You're the adult. Oh, oh. You're the adult. You're the one that's supposed to know better. You don't know better. No. Mm. I love fresh spinach. Get some tuna and pepper and mayonnaise. Yeah, whip it up and you put it in spinach. Oh, so good. Yeah, Dan. Try you it. Sure Dan. did, Eric Weber. Lauren. What? You think if you worked out more, you could have a body like Dan's? The what? If you worked out more, could you have a body like Dan's? I'm thinking, I think I'm fine the way I am. Dan's Dan, and I'm me. Yeah, but you can stand to get a little bit taller. When are you going to stop growing? I've stopped growing, and I've stopped growing, and I'm happy with the height that I am, so I'm all good. <laughs> His little... Mouth was stuck on his tooth, and he was like, "That was so cute." <laughs> Fuck you, Lauren. No, we'll see. That was fucking rude, Dan. I thought you were on my side, Kissy Poo. Well, you gotta be. You gotta. You gotta be nice. You, this is ridiculous already. <laughs> Still the drugs. I'm not on a drug. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. No, you're probably on a cock. <laughs> Have you been waiting for me to get out of jail so you can talk shit to me about that? Or something? <laughs> you can so bury down deep inside of you. <laughs> 
even though I'm sober, I'm being cool. I'm not saying anything bad. Good for you, Lauren. Don't take no shit off her. Good for you. Um, I keep my mouth shut most of the time. But no, you don't. It's much rather, more fun to bat around a mouse that fights. I'm rather pissed off about the crap she's in. done. <laughs> Come on, fight me, Lauren. See who wins, Lauren. Come on. Let's go. When are you lose? Let's go, bitch. Come on. I'll fuck you so hard your mother will feel it. You can call me Will dad. You shut up. How's that? Shut up, <laughs> Remember, Dan, she's a badass now. She's been I in mean, jail for two, for I three, am. four days. She's a hardened I'm criminal. I look a bitch. Yeah, she, never would have lasted, she never would have lasted five years. Shut up, El Pato Loco. <laughs> She's living La Vida Loker over there. <laughs> Loker? Yeah. I can't so much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, he probably doesn't even understand what, what either one of them are talking about. <laughs> I admittedly no don't understand what, what they're to, talking to about a lot of the time. Go through prison. Right? No, she doesn't. Yeah, she sorry. doesn't. Not a clue. Jail is not even close to prison. You are the real tough guy here, not her. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> oh, work with me here. I, mean, just I, just I, I was smart myself. and kept my mouth shut. <laughs> That's why prison would not have been good for her. <laughs> why? Some of us Because you don't just... keep your mouth shut. We're not cursed with the ugly face, an unrapeable body. Some of us are just, you know, way too hot for prison. You don't know what that's like, Lauren. Well, you don't think I'm hot? Oh, well, a lot of women out there that do think I'm hot, so there you go. Nobody thinks you're hot. <laughs> Maybe am yeah, I? Yeah, they do. And she's stupid, so... Uh... What, you think Emma's the only woman in the world? She's the only woman in the world stupid enough to consider you as a sexual partner without barfing. She, uh, no, she Hi, my dog farted. How's it going? See, I have respect for Dan and Emma. Because they have respect for me. What? I said she's the only one in the world who'd probably fuck you, Lauren. Shut up. No. Your Aunt Sharon will fuck you? That's just a dumb thing to say. I bet you she would. She's tired of Uncle Clay's soft cock. Get him some fucking Cialis so he can fuck her all night long without stopping. And she wants to be a member of my family, Dan. It doesn't sound like it. Yeah. It no, does. it doesn't sound like it to me at all. I'm giving out all sorts of good advice to people. Uncle Clay needs Viagra. Your mom needs to wear Spanx and some of those labia clips so her pussy lips don't fall out of her socks. My You'd mom rather... does not need Spanx. Trust me. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Are you I, I, about I, I my just... mom? No! Oh, okay. She's trying to talk shit about my mom. She wants to be a member of my family. Oh. No, don't let her give you any lip. If your mom needs Spanx, I'm sure you'll have her bend right over. Hey, Lauren. Nothing? What? Do you ever jack off and then you accidentally imagine licking your mom's cunt? I'm sorry, I'm waiting for you to ask something intelligent. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 yeah. Do remember when um, your mom's cunt smelled so bad, Mel had to stop and shove a dead skunk in there so he could tolerate the stew? <laughs> I think I'll get off the phone, Dan, because don't, don't, don't. She, doesn't, kidding. she doesn't have anything to say that's intelligent. I'm just kidding. And Lauren knows intelligent. Yeah. 
All right, so cut the shit. Nice logs. Hey, Dad. Yes. Lauren's mom fucked a guy named Mal, and Lauren doesn't even know about it. <laughs> hey, voice to voice. <laughs> She had some letters from somebody else in the box that you guys gave me. Hi, from Melvin. Well, that's her business. No. I read it. Oh, God. That's her business. That's your Harris your... Winter Fire, January Embers. My heart burns there, too. God. That's none of your business. Yeah. You guys find out. You can't Google. You can't Google. Who's this? Winning. <laughs> You're making up shit because mom's gonna went through that box before she put the letters in them. Beverly Marsh. Beverly Marsh. Beverly Marsh. Beverly Marsh. Beverly Marsh. <laughs> Dad. Yeah. The next thing that comes out of your mouth better be intelligent. Or yeah. what? How come the hair on your head has gray, but the hair on your chest doesn't have any gray at all? Uh, I don't know. Biology? I don't know. <laughs> Lauren, do you have gray chest hair? I don't know. I don't look close enough to fucking be able to tell. I never do. Probably because I don't care. You don't care how you look. I care how I look. I just don't care if it's fucking gray or not. You look like a fucking asshole. <laughs> I must. I'm, I'm, I'm still dating you. <laughs> that was a good one, too. Actually, I'm a really bad person. I'm racist, and I'm a bitch, and I'm a liar, and I'm a drug addict. And so I guess it's a reflection of you. Lauren, have you been putting up with this bullshit for how long? I love you, Dan. Long time. Jesus Christ. Hi. I love you, Dan. We'll see what happens after rehab. I love you, Dan. I love you, Dan. I love you, Dan. Hello? Hello? Who are you talking to? Lauren. Oh. When you're talking to me, but you're saying, I love you, Dan. Hello? <laughs> What's wrong with you? You. Why are you mad at me? Because you won't be intelligent. I am intelligent. Spell intelligent. Yeah. Oh, I know you are. Oh, Lauren, Emma's on the other line. Do you want me to patch her through? No. Yep. No. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Hold on. Emma? Why the fuck did you take my fucking phone, you fucking cunt? I had a flat tire on the way over and I couldn't fucking call anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. No, haha. -ha. What the fuck is wrong with you? And where's my fucking diamond ring? I don't know. Why don't you ask Dan? I'm tired of your fucking... Well, I am mad. Well, I'm sorry. You need to tell Lauren what you did. I told him. What'd you do? I took her phone. 
Yeah, where's your diamond ring? I don't know where that is now. What do you mean now? I mean, I saw her with it, like, earlier, but I don't know where it is. Did you take it? Don't lie to me. No way. Not everyone's a criminal like you, Lauren. Jeez. Don't lie to me, Winnie. I didn't. How am I supposed to believe you? Oh, because I'm telling the truth. Eh? Emma, don't accuse me of stealing your ring. I didn't. I just asked you where it was. And because you had my phone, I asked you where my ring was. Well, I don't know. Eh? I want my phone back at my house. You can put it in the mail slot, or you can give it to Officer Walters next door. I'll give it to you when I'm done with it. You'll get it before Monday, okay? Before Monday? <laughs> yeah. You're supposed, to report. You're supposed to report tomorrow, aren't you? Yeah, I will. Get it to her tonight. I can't. I can't even make it to where she is from where I am tonight, even if I tried. Huh. Can't jump that far. Oh, your ass better not be out of fucking California. Okay. My ankles. Tired of this. But my tired ass of this is. fucking shit, Winnie. It's my last night out. My baby. I'm tired of this fucking shit, Winnie. I knew you were gonna do stupid shit. Tonight I'm gonna party. That's exactly like what you're doing. Oh. Nah. What time tomorrow are you supposed to report there? Before 6 p.m. Before 6 p.m.? Yeah. In the meantime, what are you going to be doing? Just chilling. With who? Nobody. I'm going to be cranking I know, I love off. It. Wouldn't it by yourself? No, I'm probably going to hang out with Jamie. I'm probably going to go watch a movie or two. I'm going to go to the Goodwill. I think I'd rather have, have you around Nemo. <laughs> no. Yeah. Emma's with her family this week. Why don't you make such an imposition, you fucking asshole bitch? Well, because all three of us have put, yeah, all four I, of us have put a lot control into everything you. she does. You haven't put shit, bitch. Only down in at my hive. You haven't even paid Dan yeah. back for the stuffed turtle. <laughs> stuffed turtle. I don't really think about a stuffed turtle. For one thing. For another thing, I've put fucking eight, nine months into you. And the balloons. What are you lying to, uh, to me? Yeah, the balloons you destroyed, a lot in you. jerk. Yeah, you don't want to lose your investment. That's why you keep talking to me. It's not because you love me, cunt. No, it's because I love you. you I've got my fucking I feelings into you. Something. Ho, ho, ho. Got, uh, shut Merry up. Christmas. You won't be molested this time, kid. I've got my heart invested into you. Your heart on? You're stroking off? Jeez, you, you, you continue to say stupid fucking shit. <laughs> Whatever. Somebody That's else talks to her. I ain't fucking talking. That's cool. Jane <laughs> put Q-tabs in her mouth. <laughs> and she says, cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> Lord. Yeah, it sounds up. Don't be mad. What do you mean? I thought you were doing walrus tasks. That's what I do when I put the straws there. <laughs> oh, God, Dan. Fuck my cunt. I mean, Lauren. Yeah, I mean. Hello. Hi. Don't be mad at me. 
Don't be mad at you after all the fucking stupid shit you say. I don't say stupid shit, baby. Yeah, you do. Not I. I raised Every fucking version. one of us is tired of it. You just continuously act like you don't give a fuck what we care about, what we think about, what? or how we feel. I love you. You know, prove it. Come on, Mistress Habibi. Prove it. Prove it. I'm just waiting for you to get sober and prove it. I'm sober. Can I bug You're not sober. <clears throat> yeah, hi. You're not fucking sober. Oh, yes, I you probably, am. You probably fucking snorted up a line of coke as soon as you got out. Oh, my God. Why? Is that the first thing you did when you got out of prison is drink a beer? You're the one who was letting off clues to me that you can do the same thing. Jamie was going to do the same thing that you did at TSA. Yeah. Have to right up her right up her pussy. Oh, no. Not that stupid. <laughs> I meant use the wrong ID. She used Debbie's mm. ID to come get me, you fucking dick wash. Yeah, well, how do I know she didn't have some Coke ready for you? I don't want Coke. You don't want it, but you can't stay away from it. I just want Coke. Oh, you mother. Yeah, well, you, well yeah, someone, else, someone else's. If you wanted mine, you would have fucking been here. All right, so, Dan, when are you going to throw it in me, baby? I'm wet and ready see? for you. There you go. Stupid fucking shit that you Fuck say. Fuck Dan. Grab my titties, too. Dan's not even on the phone. The dumbest Hi, fucking Clementine. shit you say, Winnie. Dan's not even on the phone. So? You still say the dumbest shit. No, I'm really smart. I make myself laugh a lot. Yeah, well, yeah, you make yourself laugh a lot, but you don't give a fuck about how everybody else feels. Not even a little bit. I'm guilty of that. You stop no, time to time, I make myself laugh. Make laugh a lot and kick them nasty thoughts. Sometimes I'm the only one that laughs at my jokes. It's learning is whack. Totally a, worth it, about though. anybody else, you, you, you stop and think about the shit you say. I do. And you don't. That's what I say. Because you keep yelling at me, so I figure I might as well start being mean to you. No. I'm telling you because it's dumb ass shit you do. I don't want you doing dumb ass shit, but you don't give a fuck. You just keep doing it. Aye, aye, Admiral. And, and I'm, I'm so fucking disgusted with in the, the shit that happened with Victor. It's, it's pathetic. You don't even know what happened with Victor. You fucking grow straight up by it. Oh, my God. Yeah, I do know what happened. How do you know? It's fucking disgusting. How do you know? I know. How? It's not too fucking hard to figure out. Well, tell me what I did then. You don't remember. You put a fucking glove on and jerked him off. Made a video of the fucking thing. And you stopped in the middle of it cause, and wanted to call me because you love me. Well, if you love me, what the fuck are you doing letting somebody pull down their fucking pants so you can jack them off? See, I told you I love you. No, you should have thought about that before you grabbed hold of his cock. This I think anybody with more than, I don't know, three brain cells would probably be able to figure out that she is trolling you, Lauren. She is trolling you hard. She is purposely saying stuff to make you upset you even said yourself you know she's smart so why can't you get this through your head you're just fueling it if you let it bother you the more they will absolutely do it the one guy that i fucking trusted you to be with not a minor not the dog but because it was a dude's cock okay got it. the dog the dog Are was you? another thing too Oh, that was another that was another fucking thing too. Tertiary. It's fucking uh, disgusting. What the fuck was wrong with you? We don't need to know that answer. We already know it. Right. So exactly. This is drugs. even after the, the fact that she's already admitted me. to it. Yeah, Couldn't get enough of the fucking drugs. Didn't matter what kind of drug it was. <laughs> Look, 
Y'all yeah, do. Y'all be mad just because the judge and yeah, prosecuting do. attorney saw me jack off some kid, okay? I didn't like it. I didn't watch it. And I couldn't even see how far he shot because I wasn't looking. And he had a rubber on. And, and, so, and so you didn't get up in the middle of it and say, I want to call Lauren. Well, yeah, but how do you I know I love Lauren. I want to call Lauren. How and do you know that? You, you, I did that. Yeah. You went back out and you finished him. Yeah, but I still thought of you in the middle. Don't care. Well, who do you want me to think of when I jerk off another guy? Them? No. Yeah, you might as well go ahead and think about them because... I thought of you. Well, you ever touch another guy's cock or fucking look at another guy's cock again in real life? Forget it. You and I won't exist. Can I watch all of Dan's jack off videos? His no. Come straight. No, you can't. Danza? No, you can't. If you keep being a fucking smart ass, I'm just gonna fucking hang up. Okay. I don't want you to though. I want to be your wife on the phone tonight. You want to be my wife on the phone, but not in real life. Well, I said I want to be your wife on the phone tonight. You can't come to Nevada. I mean California, and I can't go to Maine. Another dumbass thing you you did, fucking cross state lines. Oh, my God. Who said I did that? This line is being recorded. Attention, Winifred Pollard. Thank you for using oh Rhea. I'm, I'm fucking tired of the fucking stupid shit winning. <laughs> Love me, baby. I want to... <laughs> Extravaganza! <sighs> I want that cock. I like when it's all rigid. Uh, I'm talking about Victor's. Only two and a half hours from where I live. Is only, two and a half hours. only two and a half hours you'll have that cock? What cock? Dan's cock? No, it takes him six hours to fly here, dummy. No, I figure you're probably talking about Victor. I don't want that ugly kid's cock. He has HIV. If I'm going to no. have somebody's cock, it'll be yours or Dan's. Uh, you obviously want his car because you already had it. I don't want it. It's gross. Aw. Dan will give you some cock, sweetie. <laughs> Just like how Lauren always offers Emma up whenever he needs a favor without asking. <laughs> I would totally fuck you if I had a penis, Lauren. <laughs> I, had <laughs> I would. I think I would. I'd be gay for you. Would you be gay for me if you were a girl, Lauren? Don't know. I guess you in person. I'm going to take out my cock, and Jamie's going to look at it, and she's going to look at me and then look back down at it, and she goes, wow, you really are Dirk Diggler. I know, that's not the line. And what was it, Brock Landers? <laughs> Lauren, Lauren. What? What? Hi. Hi. What's your porn name? Don't have one. Why not? Unlike you. Unlike you. <laughs> what would be my porn name? Yeah, if you guys had to give Lauren a porn name, what would you what would you call him? No, oh, you're the one that has a fucking website. A website? No, I don't. Oh, well, you're on one. You're on one? You don't even know what that means. No. You keep thinking that. What do you mean? I'm, I don't have a website. Doesn't matter. Then why did you say that? Then you have an Instagram. Nope. Well, only, thing I have is, only thing I have is YouTube, and I don't even care to be on that piece of shit. You have YouTube? Go watch Clobbering Time's live stream. He's going to close out a song nope. with Emma's, his uh, stream with Emma's song. She's better at singing than you ever be. Even when her voice I have a YouTube channel, and, and, and I don't even care to have that. Think Bentley, Mr. Penis. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fuck me then. 
we'll see. You don't want to fuck me? What would be your porn name if you were in videos? It... I don't want to fuck you if you're sober and, and using your head. Okay, back to the current question, time traveler. What would your name be if you were in a porn video? And you're all fucking drugged up? No. Nope. You're all ducked and drugged up? I don't want to fuck you. Because you're not you. You're just you that wants to touch any guy's dick and show any guy your pussy. Your name would be Navigator Left. I'm not attracted to that. <laughs> I'm not attracted to that kind of person. What about Dick Bentley? <laughs> Gross. So pleaser. Or Bentley Dick. Lauren, you like camel toes. You're fucking pig. That's uncomfortable. Bastard. What's that got to do with me? I don't want to fucking tell him how to dress. I saw your mom's camel toe in a Facebook picture, and I <laughs> blew it up and made it my phone background. Maybe I'll change Winnie. this background to your mom's Winnie. camel toe. Lauren's <laughs> mom's camel toe is a channel name. <laughs> Winning. <laughs> what? You need to understand this. <laughs> okay. I'm very tired of you saying stupid shit about my mom. And her camel toe. <laughs> you really need to understand that. Okay, I understand. <laughs> no. No, I don't think you do. <laughs> I do. No, I don't think you do. Yeah. No, I don't think you do. Hey, Lauren, what would your mom's porn name be? A vanilla custard? <laughs> A vanilla gorilla? <laughs> what? Why am I? I told you. I've heard enough of you saying stupid shit about my mother. If you don't like my fucking mother, just don't say anything. I like your mother a lot. She should be one of those rodeo clowns. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, girl. press 5. You must really not care about me. Because you're not answering your phone. These are some good ones. I guess you don't love me. And here I am thinking that you did. That you gave a fuck. You know who does give a fuck? Is my daddy. And I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. And he's not even answering either, right? Well, all right, if you're going to be that way, I guess then you're breaking up with me. And that's exactly how I'm going to take it. So I guess I'm single tonight. Bye. All right. So let's see. We've listened to the Vegas call fairly recently, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that one. Hello. This one's only 17 minutes. Let's see what this is. What are you doing? Who are you doing? I'm driving. Why? Because I can. I got to make money. I got to make money for my honey. <laughs> you say honey. I'm awake. Yeah. You're awake? How come you're not in, in the class? I know. That's how I look. Huh? You what? 
Hello? 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 Baby? Baby? Baby. All right, now I hear you. Anyway. I'm stupid. Anyway, anyway, don't don't try to turn things back around me. I'm only asking you questions. No, you're not. You're accusing me. I'm not accusing you. What Do I have something to accuse you about? Yeah. Well, what? I don't know. You'll make something, won't you, bitch? Well, no, I'm not making anything up. I just want, I want you being honest with me. So? So? So it's kind of part of a good relationship. Being- I have a little tip for everybody. If you expect honesty from people, asking them for honesty is going to do you absolutely no good. It's just, they're either going to be honest with you or they're not. The more you ask for honesty, I think the worse off you are. I could be wrong, but that is just the way I'm interpreting things. Be honest with each other. Well, I think we've lied to each other enough. Don't, Don't you? Don't have to hang that over my head. You what? You what? I went... I had three hours sleep. Shut up. So well, why couldn't you sleep last night? Because you're a hoe. Why don't you answer my question? Because it's none of your business. I don't know, fucker. And what it kind is. of question is that? Why couldn't you sleep last night? There are so many nights where I can't sleep. Like, a lot. And I don't have a reason why. Don't just be like, well, you know, I journaled every single thought that I had throughout the entire evening. And, you know, here's here's a list of what was going through my head. Like, just because I can't go to sleep, idiot. It is my business. Insecurity doesn't get triggered. I would have let the, to me, well, so then. You're using it. And then it's my job to make you a big strong man. Fuck you. There shouldn't be any reason to keep it from me, is there? Yeah, because I don't want I don't, to. I'm not keeping anything from you. You're using, it. You're using it as a power play instead of just curiosity about how I spend my time. How about that? Emrelsh's mustache. No, I'm not using that yeah. as a power play. I'm nah. using it as... I can absolutely uh, see that. Let, let me do it. You're not doing it right. Why? Get why, Stop looking at my woman. Uh, let's no, let, let's rethink no. all this so that yeah. we don't get off okay. track. Yeah, go ahead and rethink because it. Because it's yeah. because it's uh, very important okay. that okay that you perfect. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Because it's very important that you keep your mind on the track that it should be on. That way, it makes it better for you and me when you're out of there. You're not the boss of my mind. I will pay attention, and if I'm not serious about it, then I won't. So are you serious about it? There's nothing you can do to influence me to be any different or have any different ideas about what's going on in my life. So you can either enjoy a conversation and talk with me, or you can keep trying to fucking gather your details, bitch. Only one of us knows how to use Google. Are you serious about it? Are you serious about it? Oh, shut up. No. That's my fucking question. Why don't you call your mom if you need your ego stroked, you fucking bitch? Mm -hmm. There's there's nothing about your fucking ego on this shit. Yeah, there is. It's all ego, stupid. No, there isn't. Yeah, whatever. Are you serious about it? Are you serious about us? I'm serious about me and you. Then shut up. Leave me alone. Stop talking shit to me. Are bitch. you? Are you? Are you? Hello? Are you? Hello? Are you? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, because it seems like you're not listening to anything I'm saying, asshole. 
I'm listening to what you're fucking saying, but you're not listening to me. You're not listening to me. I asked you if you're serious about it. You can't even answer that fucking question? No. Of course not. If you're not serious about it, don't think I'm going to fucking hang on forever. Shut up. No. It's fucking questions. No. You're not... You can tell me if you're serious or not about it. Bitch. Mm-hmm. Next time, get fucking sleep. Love you. I hate you. Mm-hmm. Sounds like you. Fucking cocksucker. I know. I know. Of course, I'm a cocksucker. Bad. I'm asking you questions you don't want to answer. Buck, 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 buck. <laughs> so what's up with the Hello. Thank you. Re- Hello. Got to run this Thank through the know. song eliminator. We were just talking. Like, I tried to connect with you by asking about rehab. You didn't want to so fucking didn't. answer That's question about it. that, so. You said I'm, you. I might as well just sit here and shut my mouth. Control. Did you catch it? No bullshit. Mispronounced control. Bullshit. That's right. You're bullshit. I'm not bullshit. Yeah, I know right. that I'm serious. You're bullshit. I know that I'm serious about us. How about you? I know you're serious about math. How about you? I don't hey. know. What are you, cheerleader now? We got spirit. Yes, we do. She has spirit. Never, How about you? Never, never done, well, you're not serious about us. Cause you never didn't even answer that fucking question. about us. Because I keep trying to bait you into making me feel better by saying something specific. And you're not saying it, so I'm going to cry. What? That I love you? <laughs> Tell you I love you all the time. I, I not love fucking love you. I fucking love you. Whatever. 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 What? What? Wait, what? No sense of me saying anything. You don't fucking answer any question I have anyway. Uh, that's because you treat our conversations like a Bowling Green interrogation room. No, I don't. I just want to know that you're serious about us. I want to know that you're not up on the fucking internet all night long. But that's not what's keeping you awake. Oh, God, of course you want to know that, because then you would know whether or not you have to feel jealous about something, and that's your fucking default feeling, right, eh? Well, well you said you were being honest with me before, and you weren't. Who cares what your significant other does? Like, if they're on the internet, so what? You said you were being honest No, I have to watch out for it. I was being honest with never cheating on you with anyone. So? I've never cheated on you. you want me to believe. Mm-hmm. Believe it if you want. I'd well, at least I feel good me. about it. <laughs> I feel good about it because I know I haven't. All right. That's fine. Eat me, bitch. No, I will if you get out of, if you can get through rehab and get here. Stop acting like you is something that you had to try to fucking 
do because nobody will fuck you. Whatever. Okay, bye. Whatever. Whatever. Don't well, let stop being a bitch. Don't get your ass on the way out of the car. <laughs> stop being a bitch. Stop being a drunk and a pedo and the monitor lizard looking motherfucker. Okay, bye. Hello? God, you're stupid. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, cocksucker. Good morning, my love. What do you want? How are you? Here, now. Next. What do you want? Returning your call, asshole. You want a Virginia car? Yeah. What? That's what it sounded like you said. Okay. I'm returning your <laughs> call. What do you want? Oh. Yo! Is that okay? Yeah. You usually call me before now. So? Are you okay? Are yeah. you okay? Yeah. Okay. Why are you asking, acting all testy? Oh, shut Why are huh? you just acting stupid like you always do? I'm sorry. My little poopsie. The fuck? My schnuckums. My schnuckums duckums. My love in a, in a, in a big dick cup. <laughs> uh, that one was funny. <laughs> It was not funny. What are you doing, baby? I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is wrong with you. <laughs> hey, Dolce Kong. I want you here with me. Well, okay, fuck. Is that okay? I guess. Okay. Are you on your way yet? What? No. Why not? Why the fuck are you so fucking jolly this morning? Because it's Friday. I gotta work tomorrow, but it's still Friday. I've gotten some pretty decent hours in this week, so I'm happy about that. Hopefully I'll get more in tomorrow. Then I'll be even happier. I can go see Tony. I don't. Not, I don't. I don't think I will today. Maybe tomorrow. He's out. Of well, no, I probably won't tomorrow. That's why he called. Probably won't him. tomorrow. Rawr, rawr, rawr. If you what? Go ahead and finish it. Pretty, pretty good. Well, I said I probably won't. Good, I'd say. Well, actually, I probably won't tomorrow because Roy will be down here tomorrow, and he'll be doing things at the house. No, so, I don't know. I might go see him. I might go see him today if I get back early enough. Roy won't do shit. He's just going to be drunk and pretend. No, he's not going to drink. He's not going to drink. You and I are going to make fun of him in a minute. So uh -huh. he, uh, uh, he's not... Um, don't call him yet. <laughs> ah, damn it. Hold on. I got to struggle here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure, that was totally hey, now, necessary. The, Julie's not staying with Roy at the hotel anymore. Roy thinks Julie's a lesbian. Why? I... Yeah, she brought some friend of hers to the hotel. And I guess that friend stayed for two days and didn't do anything. And, and uh, hey, Sprinkle, can Roy get pissed back. off about it. And, and he he said that he thinks that that uh, Julie's a lesbian. He thinks that's why Julie didn't want anything. Didn't want him. There are lots of reasons why somebody wouldn't want that stupid asshole. And also, oh, yeah, I know, but he's but Julie's Julie's just bad. 
<laughs> Julie's just as bad, though. I mean, she's not she's not even close to an angel. But she, uh, well, her and her and Roy both got fired from Timbro. Her and both, and and, and Ju- Julie got fired too. What? Roy got fired. Julie got fired, and I guess three or four other guys got fired. That that works for Timbro. When? I know you're all visualizing pulling up to Lauren's trailer. He's trying to pull his boxers up really quick as Big Bird's fleeing the house. Everything is just in a constant state of just everything being messed up. This this last week, I guess, they were all sick, and they called in. I guess Kimbro Fox fired them because they said they didn't call in. But, uh, but in Cornville, it's just another day. Roy said that they, that they did call in. They called in two officers. But for some reason, whoever it was that was there didn't write it down or something. So I don't know. I but don't, I know Roy's not working for Kimbro anymore. Somebody didn't write something <laughs> down. They probably have lost their jobs for a long time. And they told you now that they had to make up an excuse for why they've been out of work this whole time. So they just lied. Probably. I, well, I, think, I think Roy's been a... I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to say I think because I don't know what happened, but uh, I'm just going by what Roy told, told me. And uh-huh. I know Roy Roy was sick. Mom still thinks that he might have pneumonia, but Roy said that he, does, that he doesn't, but he is going to go see the doctor today, and he's going to be down tomorrow. So he's going to be staying in the in the metal shed because he, he can't give Mom what he has, <laughs> right, it's whatever okay. it is that he has. So, but he can bend down so and he can touch go, his baby. own feet. There's the update on Roy. Now, the other update is: Are you ready to get a good laugh this morning? Yeah, you're naked. All right, give Roy a call. Okay. <laughs> I told him we'll get, we'll we'll be calling him. Really. Yeah. <laughs> Is he going to call me his daughter? I don't like that. No, I, uh, I, no, I hope no, I hope the fuck he does. I've already given him help for that. Baby girl. He said he wouldn't do, hey, baby he said he wouldn't do that anymore. Hey, baby girl. Yeah, no, he said he wouldn't do that anymore. He better not because I don't, I don't like that, and it's extremely inappropriate. I am. I mean, it's extremely stepping over boundaries. Me too. Okay, I'm calling him. Bye. No, not bye. Come on three way. Marvin, you're naked. I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please, try your call again later. Goodbye. He's probably drunk. Call me uh, right back again, see if he answers. He's he drunk might answer on the second time. He's drunk at your... Hey, hey, make, sure, make sure you call him under my number. I am. Okay. Call him right back again. He might answer. Making a mistake. Making a mistake. Sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. Yeah, guess not. You'll probably call me back. Why? Then when he does, when he when he calls me back, tell him, uh, I'll tell him to hang up, and I'll, I'm gonna call him. I'll call him right back, and then you can call him. Okay, but Roy got fired, and Julie got fired, and Julie has yeah, a girl no. staying with them. 
but Roy can't get a heart on, and he's drunk and stupid, and that's why Julie doesn't want him, because he's she's a lesbian, not because he's stupid and drunk. Okay. Yeah. But Goomba had the well, key. That's a rundown of everything I gathered, anyway. But he's... What is he just stayed over my house out in the metal shed, and I told him I said we can fix that shed up and so it's some, so it's some living quarters. You can stay right out there. Sorry, he, the person you're trying to get has a voicemail box that has not Hi. been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. Baby, tell me before you call him, so I know, so that I'm not yakking away when he answers. Okay. Just tell me what's funny and stop being stupid. Roy has a sore throat. Is it because he was sucking a wiener? Because he's gay. It's, a little bit. It sounded like he was crying, so I, so I teased him that he was oh, crying shit. about Julie. Uh, <laughs> I teased him that. I, 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 oh I teased him that he was crying about Julie. I said, he said he lost his voice. I said, well, where'd you lose it at? I did everything I could to make him talk. <laughs> uh, he might be. He might actually be on the phone with Uncle Clay because I called Uncle Clay not too long ago and told Uncle. Real nice, Lauren. It must be. Must feel great to finally be able to make someone make fun of someone else crying. Uncle Clay, the Roy has a sore throat, so so Uncle Clay probably called him just so he could tease him too. <laughs> hey, you fucking jabroni. <laughs> Is that a, sorry? The person uh, you are trying to reach has a voicemail box hey, that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Shut up. <laughs> Roy has funny as fucking hell. You told me Roy has pneumonia, but nobody even did an X-ray of his lungs or anything. It's just what your mom thought he had. No, he, uh, that's what mom thinks because uh, well because of all the beer that Roy drinks and you know and all the sickness that he's had. In the, in the last couple of weeks, Mom thinks that he might have pneumonia still. And Roy said that he doesn't, that he feels better. It's just his, just his voice that's sore. But he's going to go to the doctor today. He has a... He has he said, a he says primary care doctor is in Bangor, but Mom said he'd never had one in Bangor. So, I don't know. He doesn't even know where the fuck he slept last night, it. No, no, he knows he's up in the hotel room because he ran, he has the whole hotel room until um, Sunday, he said. He said but he's, he's going to come down my house tomorrow. Is what? Oh, yeah, for sure. He you said you'll get beat down. Going, Who will get beat down? No, he's got the hotel room until Sunday. Oh. Huh. But he's gonna, said he's going to come down my house tomorrow. So he said he wants to cut some wood and all that crap. So he must be feeling better if he wants to cut wood and stuff. But he knows he's got to get the fuck in. They need some better hobbies than just cutting wood. For the love of God, man, like, get some friends or something and stop talking to catfishes online. Don't, don't, you know. Don't do it because I said to. I enjoy listening to your dumb ass. Make a fool of yourself. But for the love of God, man. Have some kind of dignity. And that room in the metal shed, uh, he cleaned out and he'll have to, get a, have to get his bed down there. But he can't stay with mom because of the way that he is. Mom doesn't want him to stay there unless he's sober, and with his drinking problem, he he can't stay sober, and he can't drink over my house. So Andy doesn't have any money because he doesn't have a job now. Is there still room for him to sleep in your shed? In the shed, yeah. We'll just have to move some stuff out of there so we can put his bed back in there and and be able to live in, in there. You just gotta find the floor. It's no big deal. So. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put all the stuff in here. Maybe I'll stick it up in Mom's garage or 
maybe, I don't know, move, yeah, move some shit around the, the, the dog mom's shit. Mom's garage. Yeah, put your shit in her garage. That's where your, your dresser is, out in mom's garage, baby. Uh, uh, yeah, stick it in there. Yeah. Stick it in your mom's garage, right? Well, um, he said he, he he said he wants to work on the house too, and get some stuff done on the house, and work on the addition. So, him coming down, maybe if he if he feels good, if he feels better, then we'll get some more shit done on the house. Some of the stuff I can't do with just two hands, I could have somebody helping me, like putting the chipboard up on the outside. Can I can't do that with just just myself, because I gotta have somebody help me lift it and holding it up while I screw screws it. Sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. I'm a sexy sign. Huh? What? What'd you say? I don't know. Sounded like you said I have a sexy son. I'm a sexy son. You're a sexy son. You're my sexy woman. Why are you watching Dan? <laughs> I'm not. I'm the top salesman, Daddy. You know that creepy, don't you? Yeah. And you know, you know it's weird, right? Broke my trophy. Okay. okay. Especially if you're in love with me and you're watching another guy. That's that's weird. Okay. And it, and it's messed up. You don't get to decide what's weird, Lauren. You're weird. Um, since what are you? Ryan, what are you supposed? To, huh? Roy's dying. I'm gonna give him a blowjob before he dies. All right, listen. This is the shit that you don't need to be saying. Why? Yeah, why would you say that? Because I don't want him to die, and I don't want to give him a blowjob, but sometimes you got to do what you don't want to do. Well, no, that's not something that you have to do, and that's not something you even have to say. <laughs> these are the things I'm saying, all these fucked up shit that you say. You need to not say that shit. Uh, Especially if you're in love with me. I, uh, I try to not say anything offensive to you. Oh, yeah. I'm Maria in love with you. you. Laura never says anything that. offensive. Did Maria call you? No. Still hasn't. Wow. I'm going to... Uh, Last night... Uh, they um, banned me from the page. Oh, really? Yeah, and they said that Lauren's trying to get off the registry uh, on the forum, and then they took me off. But... Sorry, they the said uh... you trying to has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. They Bye. said that I'm trying to get off the registry, and then they banned you from the forum after they said that? Yeah. Why did they ban you from the forum? I don't know. I wish I knew. I have no idea. Huh. But I wonder if Maria looked at it after you left your message and they saw her IP address there. And then anything in California they thought was like Emma or me or whatever. And they took it down on it. But huh. the, there was a post in here that said, somebody, hold on, because I took a picture of it. All right. Somebody needs to go down to his trailer and punch him in the throat and steal his prison journal. Why hasn't anybody thought of that yet? <laughs> Who That's said that? funny. Who was it that said that? I don't know. It's not fucking funny, is it? It was... Oh, it's funny, because I'd like to see him come to my house and try that shit. Well, bitch... They get a knife right in the throat. I'm... Oh God, yeah, right. You're not going to do anything with a knife. I'm going to be there by myself. As soon oh, really? as I get to the door, 
if a grown man is going to punch another grown man in the throat and steal something, what do you think he's going to do to me? He's not going to punch me in the throat. For one thing, he wouldn't be able to get past Roscoe. Hello. <laughs> this person is violent. I don't know, Lauren. I think Roscoe would be inviting to anyone that would come in to save them. So you don't think I can be violent if I don't want to? Or him. Bitch, just... you won't fucking be there. That's what I keep saying. Don't worry, honey. I'm going to make sure you're protected. Okay? Don't worry. Ah. I am going to do something about them people in the fucking forum and all that stupid ass church of card crap. So, just relax. I need money to do it and I'm trying to get the money to do it. Shut up. No, I'm not going to shut up. You don't think that shit bothers me? It These motherfuckers are trying to fucking dick around in my life? It bothers me, but it doesn't Fuck. bother you. You don't fucking do shit about it. You just sit there and try to act tough. Oh, let's see him try it. I'm a guy. It bothers me, but they're climbing on a branch that's going to fucking break, and they're going to wind up getting incarcerated for it. So I'm not worried about it. Every time for two years that you've threatened that somebody's going to be incarcerated for doing shit to you, all they do is laugh at you, and nobody's ever incarcerated. Yeah, well, that's because that's it's taking some time for me to be able to get some money. I'm going to pay the land off early, then, off early, then, then I'm going to take out a loan against it. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. And I'm going to talk to the Sheriff's Department. Let the Sheriff's Department know. I, I think I might actually put some cameras up there. Too. What do you expect? Nobody's going to get incarcerated. Nobody's even going to do anything beyond writing their name down in a report to shut you up. They don't care. Well, they, well, they can't do anything until somebody does something. If somebody does something, that's when they can do something. All right. That's not true because people have sent nude pictures of you to your family members who are elders, and they could have generated an APS report or whatever. Yeah, I know. That's... You. They don't care. Obviously, they don't give a shit about you, no matter how much you want them to. They don't care. Um, They're not going to do anything. Well, I'm going to do something. Don't worry. I'm, I yes. have my wheels turning, and I'm trying to figure out what I can do. Yeah. I'll believe it when I see it. Uh, no, no. Stop <laughs> thinking that I'm not going to do anything. Good one, I don't man. like these fucks trying to screw with me. You seem to like it. You seem to welcome it. You seem to wear it like some kind of a badge. I don't fucking welcome it. I'm not telling them to fuck you. I'm not even talking to them. So? I can't help these fucking retards that are obsessed with me and for no fucking it. reason. A bunch you're of fucking weirdos. to be tough. But you're not understanding I'm, I'm, my concerns, stupid. I am understanding your concerns, baby. I understand. You're one of those weirdos. I'm going to take steps so you can, they can't get on the property. So you but will you be safe. need to acknowledge that your legal threats don't mean shit. They're not ever going to go anywhere. You're not ever going to do anything. Um, they're going to have to at some point. Yeah, right. They are. How long has it been? How long have they ignored you now? Oh, yeah. Five legitimate phone calls. Whatever. Yeah, they really give a shit. Well, the state police can't do anything about the fucking pictures. All they can do is file a report and give it to the, to the prosecutor. Oh, okay. Well, the prosecutor was, does something or not, it's, it's up to the prosecutor. Constant. Everybody was going to get arrested for it. Now you know they don't fucking care. Why did you even fucking yeah. bother doing that? Stupid. Um, you thought I still have to do it. 
I still have to do it so they see a repeat pattern by the same people. Lauren, there's been a so pattern. They keep, so they keep an eye on this shit. I've already given you the name of the person who's doing it. They have it logged. They, all they have is all they need. And they still haven't done anything. Because they don't or care you. about you. Or your stupid report. Or your stupid family. Because you're a pedophile to them. That's what I'm afraid of. When I go live with you, I'm going to be getting the same bullshit you guys get in the same whispers. Sorry, the person you were trying to reach has a voice. You're going to be protected. Don't worry. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. Whatever. Yeah, everyone's so worried, Lauren. Right, nobody in my down even bothers me. Yeah, right. I'm just going to have to rely on neighbors. Both neighbors, both neighbors like me. Friend, not you, because at least she does something with her dumb, fat, ugly Mexican ass. Yeah, well, well, she makes more money out there, and she makes more than I make. So? What's yeah, that she to does. do with money? She ain't going to fucking put any fucking money up for you, she's, she's been able to do things because she's had money. What's that, Matt Cracker? Hey, I haven't had uh, one of those weirdos. Had any money. She ain't going to do any more. Listen, it's stop you. getting on my case about it. I am so trying to do some stuff you, about it. All you're doing is waiting for somebody else to take care of your problem. It's not going to happen. There's only so much that I can do. First thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to hire a private investigator. Stop to find these people. Things. Find the addresses. And no, you don't, because I fucking gave them to you, first of all. You make all of these claims about how everything's going to be okay, because you made a report, and they're not going to let it go, and blah, 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 blah. Sorry, that that was actually me. I I play little sound effects for my own amusement. You're one of those weirdos. Cool. Don't fucking care. Yeah, but they don't care. You, you, you don't understand that my, hand, my hands are almost tied. To all of them. There's only so much that I can do because I can't get on the internet. Then don't Because my probation officer folks. doesn't want me on the internet. That's why I'm going to have a talk with him. After you told me about all this bullshit, you guaranteed all these people are going to be incarcerated. They're going to get this attorney from your job. They're going to do well, this. Well, they're going to be. I didn't say I was going to tell you. I didn't, I didn't say it was going to be the next day. Fucking <laughs> liar. What about the next Everything year, Lauren? You, you need to stop your fucking television. bullshit. Lie to embellish so you can make whoever's on the other line feel comfortable so they can treat you like a nice little baby so you can be nice to you. Winnie, you need to stop it. It takes more than just a day for the shit to get done. Well, you were acting like not only was it going to get done right then and there, but we were going to see satisfaction before the end of the week. It's been months. Nobody fucking cares. Well, I'm trying to do things. So, you need to just trust me on that. Oh, sure, yeah, I trust you, because the last time you said you were doing things and there'd be results, you were so fucking accurate. Thank you, Lauren. Why do you think I want to talk to Maria? I don't know. So you can run... I can't do anything about these idiots when I'm fine. Whatever. And... And if they don't allow me to be online, then they need to take steps to make sure that I'm protected. They need to keep an eye on this shit. They should have protected Betty from you. Is she getting any money? No. When was the last time you sent her some? Oh, yeah. You going to start getting on my case? No. Nope. I'm not on the phone with you for you to start in on my bullshit. On your bullshit? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm trying to get fucking things straightened out. I don't need you to fucking give me any bullshit. Yeah, I don't know if you think you, that makes you powerful to fucking be able to say that shit to me about Betty or not, but you, know, you, you need to just relax. I'm, I'm trying to get money to Betty, and I can't do it overnight either. You need to stop. Make Sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. Bitch.
bitch. I didn't hear what you said. And stop calling me bitch. I said, stop making all these big fucking promises and puffing your chest out like you have it all under control and everybody's going to do it. Wait, you she called you bitch. You said, I didn't hear what you said. And stop calling me bitch. Say, because you're Lauren fucking Armstrong and the sheriff lives across the street. Did I hear that stop right? All or am I stupid? Fucking bitch. Make like sorry, the person you were trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. Bitch. I didn't hear what you said. And stop calling me bitch. <laughs> I said stop making all these he big did say that. Unless he was talking about what she was talking about before. Like you have it all under control and everybody's going to do what you say because you're Lauren fucking Armstrong and the sheriff lives across the street from your 80 year old fucking mother. Nobody fucking cares. I don't give a fuck if they do care. Nobody Georgia cares. Glass, when they're if you're listening, cell. that needs to yeah, go on the right. court book. The cops don't care. Nobody's going to sit in a jail cell because it's going to go fucking nowhere. Nobody's going to give a shit. They're probably going to put a red carpet in front of your house so those people can go fuck with you because everybody's tired of having you in their fucking town. Oh, really? Oh, really? Gee, that's nice of you to know that. Oh, it's my old notification. Lauren. Thanks for subscribing, Cheffy and Chachi. Why does anybody have a registry of people who are fucking perverts? It's so that people know where they live because they don't want them in their town. You think you're a welcome resident of Cornville? Yeah. You know why? They know I haven't done anything. I've got neighbors that do like me. So there you go. Sure they do. But they'd rather you be elsewhere. Doesn't matter what they'd rather. They'd rather you be in another city. You're fucking nobody's coming out. I mean, like nobody's came up and asked me to like leave. Cops don't like you. Just like the cops don't you know, like it, you. If you want to talk like fucking negative to me, then I can just get off the phone. I'm tired of your negative bullshit. You don't like reality? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'll I don't like your negative bullshit. Are people give enough of a shit about you to actually you're, listen you're to your full, report? You're full of Let's negative bullshit constantly. Let's live in that world. Oh, this is fun here. You're constantly fucking saying negative shit. Oh, shit. In Lauren's imagination, there's little kids running around naked. This is so weird in your brain, Lauren. Oh, my God. Oh, really? Is that how you think of me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jim bye, Walsh. bye. Bye, pedophile. That's actually really funny. All right, let's... What is your problem? What do you want? What is your problem? What? Why do you keep saying a lie? Hey, welcome back, Rachel. What? Uh, uh, what are you talking uh, about? 
What? What the fuck do you want? Why are you being an ass and making a lies? You said don't fuck me in your sleep. So? You yelled out Joseph's fucking name. No, I didn't. So what if I was yeah, talking in did. my sleep? Yeah, you fucking did. Talking in That's my why sleep. I asked you if you were in Joseph's room. It's a side effect of my new medicine, stupid. Oh, what? To yell out Joseph's name? Is it a side effect <laughs> of your medicine? To say don't fuck me? No. Is a side effect of your medicine? No. No, because you weren't in your fucking room. Or you thought Joseph was laying next to you. What? I was having a dream and talking in my sleep. Yeah, Joseph's laying next to you? Oh, fucking great. Keep having a fucking dream. You're fucking cheating on me. That's what you're fucking doing. If Fuck was... you. <laughs> Side effects may include nausea, constipation, and screaming out for Joseph. What do you want? Why do you keep hanging up? On me after you were done shouting, you didn't let me say anything. Because all you do is fucking tell me lies. No, I don't. I always tell you the truth. No, you don't. I mean, like you told me the truth was fucking Victor? Victor. Yeah, was Victor? I like Victor. He's a nice kid. Don't be mean. I don't want to do a sex on him. He's a very talented artist, very smart man. Great taste in music, and he's only a little bit HIV positive, and I'm not in love with him. But, you know, like. Yeah, well, what about all the other fucking times that you did shit? God. Dancing naked on the fucking table. I would look fucking at Victor. taking your fucking pants off. I'd look at Victor's Run around your fucking underwear with cotton balls on them. If he showed me, but only then, because I would not all ask for it. All the other fucking shit. Everything with you has got to be fucking sexual with other guys. Cotton That's balls awesome, are Rachel. sexual. They're for cleaning up. You miss. Oh, but you had to fucking use your fucking underwear. No. Joseph had to fucking help you sew fucking cotton balls on your underwear. Oh, God. Couldn't fucking help but let that fucking pass by. Um, my underwear was sitting on a table while he did it, and we used a glue stick, stupid. Don't be a PMA. Oh, a pedophile oh, mental sweet. attitude. I want to be a Christmas <laughs> poodle. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Again. Then don't hang up on me. You need to keep your fucking ass away from Joseph. You want to save us? Keep your fucking ass away from Joseph. I don't even know what you're talking about. Imagine being jealous of someone that is made up in your girlfriend's head. Now, granted, obviously, in his mind, Joseph's a real person, but. Screaming for Joseph in your in your sleep, like not something I would consider cheating exactly, Lauren. Are you in your fucking dream? I can dream about stuff don't that care. I do in my day. Don't worry about it. Don't fuck me. I said, don't fuck me. Yeah, you said don't fuck me. Well, would you rather have me said fuck me, stupid? Oh, you know I'm fucking dreaming about another guy sleeping in his. I can have a sex dream if I want, and it wasn't a sex dream, and I don't even know why you were saying it was in my bed. You was in his fucking bed. Don't fucking lie to me about where you were. I wasn't in his bed, stupid, and how can I control my dreams? Asshole. If I could control my dreams, I'd get a lot more affection than I get right now. Thanks, Lauren. Yeah, well, stop fucking dicking around with Joseph. <laughs> what am I doing? Every fucking time I turn around, you turn around. It's Joseph this, Joseph that. No, I... Then you're going to make out with Joseph in the play. I'm going to... I, I know you're having fucking dreams about Joseph. I talk about this. Then you say, don't fuck me in your dreams. And I talk about Dad, and I talk about your ugly, fat, obese friend, Emma, and I talk about a lot of people. Yeah, well, no more fucking Joseph, or you can forget us. I burp. Excuse me. What is wrong with you? No, like, I hate it. I can't you even... I want it. Can you teach me how to do a big burp? Because all my punk rock friends burp really loud, and they go, Rrr! but I can't. Mine come out little. Excuse me. Shut up, Lauren.
I don't believe this shit. I don't know why you're so mad at me. I'm joking. I mean, it's bullshit. You know what I'm having my dream? I can control that. Die. Where's Joseph at now? I haven't been here all day. It's why I don't even know what you're talking about. You're in his fucking room. I don't know Bro, why. He's in right fucking now. His room is across the fucking park, idiot. So what the fuck was he doing in your room? He wasn't. He wasn't because you was in his room. No. Yeah, huh? I've been here all oh, yeah. day. Yeah, you. Why? You've been here where? You've been here where? At my fucking sober living home. Yeah, that's why Joseph walked in and said, what are you doing here? Get out of here. I, I don't even know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, you're fucking lying to me. I don't, why, Joseph didn't say, what are you talking about? You're fucking lying to me. I don't know what, to what you are referring well, to. You're going over fucking Joseph's room. You slept in Joseph's fucking bed. I would not do that. He's the thing that only eats hippies. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why are you I try to... Because you're fucking dicking around. I try to stop the noise spike before it blows your eardrums out, but sometimes I can't get to it quick enough. I'm not. You're angry. Yeah. It smells like you've been smoking banana peels. <laughs> Why are you screaming? I'm tired of you doing fucked up shit. I fell asleep and stayed home from fucking rehab today. So fucking what? Bells of booby? You stayed in your room. Why is Joseph going to your fucking room and telling you, what are you doing here? Get out of here. But he's not. I don't know what you he, are he's, fucking... No, not, not he's not. He did. Uh-uh. Yeah, I was on the phone. No, You're yeah, the floor of the shed. I got fucking pissed off. Said motherfucker. It hung the phone up. Okay, well, what else is new? But I didn't do it. Yeah, you were in his room or he was in your fucking room. When are you talking about? Last night? It wasn't even that long. This morning. Oh. You stayed up all fucking night. I know. Yeah. So 7 o'clock this morning. Talking to Emma? No. What if I call Emma and fucking ask her? I didn't say I was talking to that stupid fat bitch. Yeah, you did. No. Oh, yeah. I didn't well, say I was on the, the phone all night long. I was talking with Emma. Yes. But I also did practice runs for the play, and we worked on the posters. All night long. You slept in fucking Joseph's bed. No, I did not. <laughs> God. Yeah. Did she say that? Oh, no. God. Better stop lying to me. Shut up. I'm not even lying. What's Roy doing? Yeah, you are. No. Don't call him. Why? Don't call him. Mom's going, Mom's going to get him because he can't drive. What's wrong with him? Is he okay? His eyes are all watery. He can't see, he can't see straight. Oh, Mom's no. Going to get him. Is he going to be okay? I don't know. Yes, he's going to be fine. You got to take him down my house. I don't know what you're talking about or why you're an asshole. 
Yeah, you do know what I'm fucking talking about. Well, tell me you don't, because I know you goddamn what you do. Well, well, I'm... I don't know. You make your ass a little bullshit. Let's see what I can get away with. What are you saying? Are you are you saying you don't trust me? Exactly. Why? I don't because you've fucking done this shit before. What the fuck? You want me to trust you? Start doing this fucking shit. I'm not doing anything. What is your fucking problem? Sleeping in another guy's bed. I wasn't sleeping in any guy's bed. Well, then what the fuck was he doing in your room? He was not even in there. Then you were sleeping in his bed. I wasn't... God, what are you talking about? You know goddamn well what I'm talking about. If you find it funny, then we can just end up. There, I did it, okay? Did what? Made a big poop. I'm trying to tell... I'm trying to call Debbie. Because you're being out of control. No, don't call Debbie because I don't want to talk to Debbie. I don't care. I don't even fucking like Debbie. Well, do you don't believe me. Oh, don't believe you, Debbie. you pulled the shit with me before. I've never had sex with Romeo in his bed while you were on the phone before. Oh, why? Did you wait till I get off the phone? Why? No. Why are you fucking mad? Because you're in his fucking bed. But I wasn't in his bed. I could have been, but I wasn't. What, was you in his roommate's bed? No, I was fast asleep on my bed in my shared room all morning. Besides when I was out of cigarette, I was out of cigarettes and I had to go get one. Get one? From who? Oh, God. Why do you Lord, think... I already know. Why do, you, Joseph. why do you think Joseph and I are having a bad sex time? It's not. You, you're the one fucking keeping keep on doing this shit. Okay, but still. Uh, yeah, you know goddamn well what you're doing. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah, you do. You're such a pinchy, puto, maximum overdrive, soda can, machine shooter at a little kid. Dun dun dun. Oh no, that's they live. Which was maximum overdrive? Oh oh, ACDC. Ha! Oh, who made who? Who made who? Right, baby. Right, that's right. I had to dig deep for that one. And he's in Maine. I don't know why you're tripping. I'm having a good day. I had an apple pie. Because I can and Emma can. <laughs> you know why. And I had a coffee with real cream. I can. Emma can. Because <laughs> you know why. And, and then I had a little bit of extra cream, too. It was good. Um, yeah, I'm sure. Oh my god. But it leaves a film on your mouth. You gotta like yeah. rub your tongue hard on your roof of your mouth. Did yeah, it come from Joseph? No. I got my own cream. Why are you tripping? No goddamn well why I'm fucking tripping. No, I...
I'm a, I'm a good girl. The only thing I did today was I didn't get up in time for the rehab bus. It's an honest Better mistake, man. Fucking bullshit. Um, what is your problem? Why are you mad at me? Because I took a nap. Are you fucking a cut in my ass? In another guy's bed. It wasn't even a guy's bed. Or even another guy's bed. And I love when Cheyenne's Petunias comes into the chat. She's very nice and funny. Unfortunately, nobody Petunias. really knows her very well. It's nothing personal. And I'm not sleeping in her bed. Why you dream me? You'd yell out fucking Joseph. I would yell out Victor they, too. He was they, in my they, dream. They don't worry about it. I was they, dreaming. They don't fuck me. I was dreaming about him, and like then a I was. Invitation. No, don't fuck me, Lauren. It means don't fuck me. I understand that you are a rapist, convicted, and everything, but I thought by now you would have known that. Don't fuck me. <laughs> Hello. Why are you mad? I was talking to Debbie. Yes. I was talking Call to... Call me a fucking rapist. I was... I didn't call you a racist, but you are. Yeah, you did. Oh. So, said I'm a rapist convicted. That's right, because you said... I yeah, said don't... don't do I said don't fuck me, and you said that... That's an invitation, and only a rapist would say that, don't you think? Yeah. If somebody says... The problem is... The don't, problem is when you said it. It was the way that you said it. Don't fuck me. Oh, it's the way she said no that, that made me do it, officer. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, well. Yeah. Uh, that's an in, that's, uh, like that just an saying, okay, I'm going to say it, but I really want to do it. Really? That's what fucking, uh, that's what, that's really? what most guys fucking think. Really? That's what most rapists think. Yeah. That's just what you I know, said. You've been in that position before. That's just what I said, and you've been in that position before too, rapist. No means yes, right? Don't call me a fucking rapist. Then stop saying things that a rapist would say, like no means yes. No <laughs> does not mean yes. That's the yes. way a lot of fucking guys think. That's the you way. Don't know they keep going towards you and going towards you. 99%. So they get what they want. All right, 100% of men think like that, but 50% of them can control themselves, and the other ones either are not caught or are caught. So, yeah. Well, why do you think I don't like to call the fucking rapist? Um, I don't know. That's maybe true. maybe it hits a tender spot. I can spot. control myself. Oh, hey, okay. Thank you very much. Let's ask Kayla. <laughs> Don't be talking to Debbie about me. I can if I want. I don't like fucking Debbie. Right, well, and that only, only women can look at other women as friends. All guys think of women as someone they want to sleep with. All guys think that. According to Lauren. I'm fucking her then. I don't fucking like Debbie. There, I'll put it that way. Put it any way you want to. She's my sister, you fucking asshole. Yeah, well, she's also fucking one who wants to talk about me all the time. So? A fucking genie. You are a genie. Here I like C.B. Walker and Bass Shaman with your little fucking turban. Ah, that's funny. You can play a little flute and make Mr. Penis come out of your pants <laughs> like a snake charmer. <laughs> That's actually... Hi, Joseph! What are they doing rehab? How come you're home so early? How come you're home so early? Yeah, how come you're home huh. so early? Yeah, huh. Home so early, yeah. You're gonna... I don't have any sign-in papers. Yeah, stupid. Everybody comes here to sign in, and then they go to their fucking cottage, asshole. What, you think you well, know? I think he enjoys being in arguments. I really do. I I've never I've never been around somebody or talked to somebody or heard of anybody else wanting to argue this much. Like it, it's in it's pretty incredible. Everything uh, stupid. Well, he's at his cottage before. What you don't know could fill a book because he just got back from fucking rehab. Stupid. Uh, well, why'd you fall in his fucking sleep in his 
bed at his cottage before. I wasn't in his bed at his cottage, and I don't know why you keep fucking thinking that. Well, Stupid. Probably, probably because I was on the fucking phone. Oh, okay. You were on the phone, so you could see me in the cottage from the phone. Oh, God. You don't even know which cottage is which. It's the girl. I'm at Darling Nikki's. Whatever. Kind of obvious when you said, what are you doing here? Yeah. 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 What are you doing here? Yeah. Yeah. What's obvious? That somebody found me and weren't expecting to it? Whatever. No, it's not whatever. You're basing a whole fucking big argument off of this. It's not whatever. What the fuck do you think was going on? Don't know. Why don't you tell me? I did, stupid. I was asleep and I woke up. Why was in the fucking bedroom? I was in my bedroom. Uh, why was he in your bedroom? I don't know. There are a thousand things that I could have been doing, yeah. and one of them was in my bedroom sleeping. I was having yeah. dreams, yes. I was having dreams of Victor and Joseph that we went to go drive a truck, a monster truck. Uh, yes, sure. we did. Well, Victor, I I drove the truck with Victor, but Joseph was a different dream. Oh, well, yeah, I can imagine. Well, stop imagining because it's a dream and I can't control it, okay? Well, yeah. show the wrong place in your life. Yeah, you're placed in the category of assholes who jump to conclusions and yell at me. Yeah, well, maybe you should stop doing fucked up shit. I'm not doing fucked up shit. Maybe you should stop being a corn pone butthole. You weren't doing fucked up shit before either. Remember telling me that? No, I was doing lots of really nice things. I was feeding animals and helping Victor not get dope sick by giving him heroin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you were helping Victor already. Yeah, well, what is wrong with you? You act like I jacked him I'm off, off ten times. I didn't do anything. I like Victor, but not like that. You do this shit, and you lie to me about the shit that you do. Uh-uh. And, I tell you everything. And, and, and you. Even when you get no, mad. You don't tell me everything. Uh-huh. No you, no, you don't. I have to. Yo, necesito a ser un pedo. Try to do a sneaky ass shit so you can try to get away with them. No, you broke up with me already, so what does it matter? Um, I, I told you, you want to fucking save us? Stop fucking hanging around, Joseph. But you broke up with me. I told you, you want to save us? Stop hanging around fucking Joseph. No, what I'm telling you is you broke up with me. Well, then, depends on what you fucking do. No, 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 see, you, you've already broken up with me. And well, what, obviously you want me to break up with you. Well, I'm just saying, you already you broke up made, with you me. You mentioning it. Yeah, you based it on some bullshit, and you broke up with me. It's not fucking bullshit when you fall asleep and another guy walks in your fucking room, or his room, whatever fucking room you were in. My room, like I you're said. You're having a fucking dream saying, don't fuck me. Yes, I was telling Victor not to and fuck me. Joseph's name. Then Joseph wakes in and says, what are you doing here? Get it wasn't here. Joseph. Oh, well, it wasn't Joseph? First you love me, then you hate oh, me. Yeah. That's a game for fools. Eh? When I come home from work, ain't it? You're on the phone, eh? Talking about how bad I treat you like a drunk Armstrong. Stop doing all this fucking shit with these guys. What is it that I am doing with these guys? Well, I'm what you're telling me. No, because actually I'm telling you everything. I don't know where you're getting all this shit from, stupid. Yeah. Because it's fucking make out bullshit in the fucking plate. No, not make you don't out. Have to use, you don't have to make out. You don't have to use fucking tongue. Yes, you do. At the end of the play, the whole idea the actors, is... The actors do not use fucking tongue. Yes, they do. Especially... No, I, watched, uh, I watched a fucking show on it one time. <laughs> on the acting shit. 
Yeah. Oh, I don't you, use talk. You watched a show on acting shit, and they're the authority of every single actor. Why don't you go read Romeo and Juliet, stupid? The whole artful idea. Don't talk over me, you fucking bitch. The whole idea. Fucking Stop fucking talking over me, bitch. The whole idea. The whole fucking talk. bitch. Fuck you. The whole idea behind the fucking play is that at the end, the two lovers who thought they were never going to be together again shared a kiss, but that last kiss is what killed them. And I have to suck the poison off his tongue. That's the whole fucking point of the play. And I already told you I'm not going to do it after all. Because you started tripping like a little fucking baby, bitch. So why are you even worried about it still, cockhead? Because it seems like, it seems like every fucking time I turn around, there's something sexual with some guy. I didn't do a sexual thing. One thing. Tell me one thing I did sexual with a guy since I've been here. None. You didn't, ask, you didn't ask him what, he, uh, what size his cock was? So what? What fucking business is it, is it of yours? You're not going to be with him. People, right. people probably ask Dan how tall he is all the time because he's all tall, like much taller than you. Uh, Dan's another one. You, you're always fucking doing that with Dan. I love Dan. Well, yeah, you love Dan. But you're in love with Dan because you can't shut up about him. <laughs> he's my grandpa. <laughs> Alice Pooper. <laughs> Welcome to my nightmare. I hope I didn't scare you. Away. <laughs> if, if he was in love with me, you wouldn't be fucking talking sexual shit to the other guys. I am in love with you. You are the one I loathe with all of my heart inside of it. Yep. Then, then tell me why you talk sexual shit to other guys. Because there's a rumbly in my tumbly, and that's the only way I can get my attentions. You don't need attention from other guys. I don't want attention from other guys. But you yell at me all the time. And I don't know. I don't yell at you all. Come on. Cannot stand the when the right up. So up. your mom's fucked right up her ass. And everybody you is. There should be nothing to fucking yell at. Your mom. You'd be fucking perfect. I am perfect. I'm fucking... Or, or goddamn close to perfect. I'm beautiful. But you do this shit. I'm white. You do this shit. I'm... That, that doesn't make any sense for anybody to fucking do. Lauren, why don't you talk to me like I'm Olivia and John and you are hopelessly devoted to me instead of talking to me like you're my fucking father right before he rapes me. How about that? Well, why don't you stop talking down to other people? Oh, so now you're yelling at me for stop being... Stop talking sexually... Stop, stop talking sexual shit to other guys. Now it's my fault that I'm superior to everybody because Adolf Hitler said so? Okay, well, you know what? Shut up. Adolf Hitler's a fucking faggot. He's fucking queer. Excuse me. No, no there's nothing wrong with queers, but the problem is... That well, you're using kind of it as a fucking insult. You're using it well, as I'm an not insult. Using that kind of insult. Yes, you are. I'm you because you, that's... Wrong you way. said he's a fag and a queer, and you said it as if they were. That was a bad thing to be. There's nothing wrong with being gay, lesbian, queer, any of those things. No, there's nothing wrong with being gay. Well, then stop using there's it as a fucking insult, gay. you goddamn intolerant cocksucking bitch. I have friends who are gay. I have lesbian friends. Yeah, I do too. They're wonderful. No, you don't. The I only do reason too. you have a friend well, who's gay up. or a lesbian is no, so you can show them off. Shit. So you, you can show them off and show network. people how tolerant you are. You told me you had a best friend who was black in the fucking Air Force. You couldn't even remember his fucking name. Bullshit, you're like all the fucking rest. What, Tyrone? Yeah, go ahead and make up a name, Tyrone. Yeah. Good one, Lauren. You couldn't oh, boy, remember it. doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. I tell you his fucking name, you're still going to say make up a fucking name, so whatever. That's right, because you couldn't no, think of it four months ago. Idiot. What's the blackest name I can think of that Wendy will fucking believe? What a fucking asshole move. I don't... Uh, whatever. Look. I'm not fucking... Uh, I'm not playing that bullshit. You're not playing that bullshit, but this is one thing that you won't fucking do is fucking say homophobic shit to me. You fucking understand? Victor's gay. Mm -hmm. I have gay friends, too. Hey. When it comes to fucking Adolf Hitler... I don't use that word in a light in the, the same fucking text. Then what do you use don't when you... Don't try to fucking make it out that I do. When you're talking about fucking Adolf Hitler, what word do you use? Adolf Hitler is a fucking piece of shit. 
Okay. That's what he is. All right. That's nice. Gender neutral, race neutral. Very good, Lauren. Whatever. I'm, I'm sure you'll find some fucking way to use that against me as, like you always do. Yeah, I will. I'm going to find out the name of your gay friend who doesn't exist and tell him that you like to say queer and fag like it's an insult. Stop it. Whatever. Stop it. Whatever. It's not whatever. I don't listen to that. Do you think it's whatever? Because I'm not listening to your fucking horse shit on it. To the young men and women and older men and women who hear the fucking word bag, bag it right before they fucking die from a hate crime. Is it whatever to them, Lauren? No! You're fucking bigot and you're insecure. I can't hear anything you're saying right now. I got the fucking motor right next to me. Hang on. Insecure bigot, but I guess you wouldn't know what that means. Fartsy bunker. Is that is that really necessary, Lauren? Is it? Hey, Joseph, guess what? No means yes. Are you trying to straighten out your, your chorizo? Fucking asshole. That's right, you fucking bigot. I can't believe you. You know how many times... I believe you either. You use the N-word. Gratuitously. You know how to spell gratuitously? Because it's how you use slurs. Don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck. But you know who gives a fuck? The people who have to live with being different and having assholes like you feeling superior using their own orientation as it's an insult, like it's a bad thing to be. I would much rather be a lesbian, a gay, queer, F-word, N-word, whatever, than be an ignorant fucking redneck on the fucking sex offender registry. How about that? What? Are you going to stop being an egotistical bigot? Are you going to stop being an asshole? Stop lying to me? I am telling the truth, you fucking asshole. Yeah, you're not telling me something. Oh, what is it that you want to know? You want to know what my tampon oh, smelled no, like yesterday is. after 10 days of incubating in my baby maker? I want to know what the truth is, but you'll never tell me. I'll always tell you the truth. You always get the truth from me, whether it hurts your feelings or not. What you, what you do is listen. You never told me about Victor. Yeah, I did. Victor's a good friend of mine, and he no, likes punk not. rock. Victor and I are going to go see the dead milkman, and there's nothing you can do about it, by the way. You what? Say what? You gonna what? You gonna what? I'm gonna I'm gonna push this landing gear into place because nobody likes me, and they put it in the wrong place before I came in. What'd you say? You're gonna, you're gonna go do something with Victor? Yeah, I'm gonna go see the dead milkman with Victor. What do you not understand about court orders? The dead milkmen don't come again till August 2019. I'll be okay by then. Oh, you are. You don't want to Spit it out. There. Spit it out. You want to just fucking stay out there and fucking leave me on. Once I'm there, are you going to fucking chain me to your trailer, bitch? Or am I going to have a the right to leave if and when I want to. I forgot. Am I your slave? If and when you want to. Right. But don't go out and fucking act like a jackass. I can go to a fucking concert wherever the fuck I want, whether I'm married to you or your brother, Ed Gain. <laughs> so in August 2019, you still going to be out there? I'm going to catch a fucking plane out here so I could see one of the best bands in the world, bitch. Say, stop with the fucking bitch shit. Well, stop with the fucking controlling shit, you fucking bitch. August, 
in August of 2019. Are you still going to be out there? I am going to be out here for the Dead Milkman you concert. Out there. For what? For the Dead Milkman show. Okay, so when are you planning on coming out here? As soon as I'm off probation, when as soon you... as I can. <laughs> And, and you don't know when you're supposed to be off probation yet. I know. It'll be before August, you bitch. And why would I want to go up there to be with you? You fucking broke up with me. And then you started saying hateful shit, bitch. I... So you, you did fucked up shit. No. I... You still haven't, you're still not being honest with me about it. I told you what I did, bitch. Uh, no, you didn't. Haha, <laughs> Tony made fun of you for having a van. <laughs> you call it an SUV, but it's not. It's a van. <laughs> an SUV. Yeah, like right. Say that just yeah, they're action figures, not dolls. What? I knew that was going to go over his head. <laughs> yeah. You've broken up with me so much. And you know what? Every time it was for some fucking bullshit, just like this time. It's some bullshit. It's not bullshit when you're fucking sleeping in another guy's bed. I wasn't sleeping in another guy's bed, bitch. That's what you fucking dreamt up in your yeah, stupid, right. insecure, bald, ugly, weird, warped, melted, misshapen monitor lizard head. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it helps so much when you have a dream yelling out Joseph's name and saying, don't fuck me. I can't help it. Don't worry about it. I can't help it. Sometimes. Don't, don't you're thinking of the Lord of Joseph. No, it just means that maybe I'm thinking about what it might feel like if somebody would be nice to me and treat me like they fucking cared about my feelings instead of yelling at me and being such a fucking yeah, little baby. Well, well I, I've tried that, but then you just show me that you don't give a fuck about mine. No, you tell me, you don't tell me that. You don't show me that you care. And whenever yeah. you talk about sex, earlier you just said when I said don't fuck me, you said that was an invitation to fuck. And then you said... Yeah, the way you said it. Don't fuck me. I didn't say it like that, stupid. I was fucking yes, asleep. Yes. Yeah, I know. Big old fucking joke. If I said don't fuck me to you in my sleep, that's exactly what you would tell me after I woke up with semen dripping out of me asking you what happened. See, this is the stupid shit that you say. It's not stupid. That's a fucking direct example of what would happen. It happened. It's fucking stupid. No, you just fucking yes, said. If a woman doesn't want to fuck me, then I don't fuck her. Don't fuck me I is an invitation. Women don't fuck me uh, is an no, invitation. It you came out of anyway. your fucking corn nut grill about 10 minutes ago. Don't fuck me is an Thanks. invitation. Well. Right. Right. It's not supposed to be an invitation. Well, you it's said it was. You said it was. Who but a rapist would fucking declare that? That is not an assertion well, made by somebody who has some self fucking control. No matter whether or not you're a member of the male race or not, some of you guys have some control, and most of you would know that's fucked up to say, bitch. Uh huh. Yeah, I know it's fucked up to say. Yeah, but you say it anyway. The is, Why don't you write about the is, it? Yeah, the, because the problem is. Because a lot of males don't fucking take it as no. A lot of males take that as an invite. You know what? If a male takes that as an invite and forces himself on a woman, it's not her fault, no matter how much of an invitation you say she's giving to him. Stop it. Yeah, no shit. It's not the victim's fault. You no, that's the case you're making no, without realizing it. You're too fucking fault. stupid to think two steps ahead of I your fucking that. defensive bullshit minimizing your well, rape charge and your rapey fucking disposition towards women. Bitch. Stay out of other guy's fucking room. You don't fucking control me. I was in my room. But if I want to be in Joseph's room rubbing yeah. my fucking cunt on his fucking pillow for him, I will. You don't fucking control me. Good, you go ahead and do it, and you'll never fucking talk to me. I'll do whatever I want. I don't want to do that, but I'll do whatever I want. 
don't think that anything you say is going to force me to do or refrain from doing something. It's not ever going to happen. Especially somebody like you, who can't even fucking control his own phlegm spit on the fucking phone. Because I am tired of your fucking gross behavior and you minimizing what you do as if it doesn't matter. As if it doesn't matter what I say. Nothing matters as long as it comes from your stupid mouth, right? Don't, don't talk about gross behavior and behavior after the shit that you've done while we were fucking together. Like what, Lauren? Take a picture of a fucking shit log coming out of my anus? Well, fucking give me any fucking bullshit. Oh, yeah? I was just wondering, isn't that the fucking grossest thing that's ever You're been sent between the two of us? And it was sent by you, wasn't it? Fucking log yeah, who maker. Asked you to send that shit? Lance Fine. Who, who was your favorite person at the time that asked you to send you send that shit? Lance Fine. Isn't that fucking great. And you did it. <laughs> he sent a picture of your ass making a shit. Why the fuck would anybody want to see that? You are fuck an you. exhibitionist. Fucking, hear about that shit fucking exhibitionist. You can't control yourself except for when it's on Google Earth. Then you don't like to be watched because then people watch you buy beer illegally and crash into the fucking guardrail. <laughs> <laughs> He fell asleep. Like you drive illegally? He fell asleep. Like you buying drugs? Yeah. How many guardrails have I crashed into? Zero. Settle. Quanto, Lord. Quanto. Don't try to fucking don't try to fucking say all kinds of shit try to win shit. You're the one fucking doing all the fucked up bullshit. I'm not trying to win anything. I win just by being winny. It's the first three letters of my fucking name, bitch. I win more than Charlie Sheen. There you go again. You just can't get it out of your fucking language. You can't get that shit out of your fucking language. Come on. You can't spend the fucking rest of your, your life fucking calling me bitch. You're full of shit. You're full of shit if you think that I'm going to call you anything but that when you're being a little fucking bitch. Why don't you grow a pair? What? Why don't you grow up? Make your innie into an Audi, Grandpa. Pop it out and be a man, bitch. Oh, fucking hell. Why do you take photos when you're making a caca, eh? Una caca, they two oh. pinchy fundio. <laughs> do you spell fundio oh. with two L's? I think so. Whatever. What are you going to say in Spanish? My conversational Spanish is all right, guys. But when I was in school, they didn't really teach us how to write fundio the right way. Maybe you can go ahead and tell me how they would spell it. And no, it's not F-U-N-D-A-Y. That's just what they called the day when everybody got to plug your ass in prison. Holy diva! <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. He doesn't give a he doesn't give a shit what Aren't you fucking bitch? she's saying Aren't you it's bitch? just you fact that she's calling him a bitch. Fucking rapist, ugly rapist bitch. You'll never get this cunt. How about that? My cunt is so fucking superior to your dick. You should thank me for even listening to you talk about sticking it in me, pig. Aw, somebody's sad. Look at the sad man making a cry face. I don't know who you're talking to. I'm not crying. Okay, I forgot. It's because you're not sitting across from two men who are confronting you with your behavior. Maybe we should try that. I'm just ignoring the stupid shit that you're saying. It's not stupid, it's smart. Unlike you and your fucking mom who should have fucking aborted your ass. Too bad the fucking hanger missed your head, bitch. Tell your mom to be a better aim next time. He would have shot in her ass. This never would have happened. What's wrong, Lauren? Toddler got your tongue? Excuse me? Toddler got your tongue, bitch! I'm talking to you. Is there a reason you said toddler? 
Yeah, there is. What's the reason? Because that's your fucking maturity level right now. <laughs> really? Yeah, baby. I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying anything, and you're saying all kinds of fucking fucked up shit to try to put me down and, and all the all this other fucking. Shit. Oh, shut up. Did you but already I'm a, but shut I'm a woman up? That's acting like a toddler. Yeah, you are, bitch. Anyway, did you already have all those uh, pictures of Thomas Coffin? Because I found them last night. If you didn't, who the hell is Thomas Coffin? Pine Island. Hello. What the hell is that? I have no idea what you're talking about. That's Garth Brooks' real name. God. Well, I don't have any pictures of him. I sent you pictures of him when I went to his concert with me and him together. When? I sent him this morning from Emma's phone. Does she still have the pictures disabled? God. Plus, because I don't, I didn't get any pictures. What was the Spanish word for cuck? I wish Victor were here. Yo no sé. Yo necesito practicar mi español porque no hay nadie para hablar en español aquí. Eh? You, you really need to pay attention to this. You need to stay away from Victor. I can pay attention. I can afford it, can you? New car payment, man. <laughs> Bitch. You're going to work more hours inside your mom's asshole pumping it? You need to stay away from Victor. Or are you going to work more hours with your brother at Chimbro? Oh, never mind. I got fired. Listen, you have no reason to fucking make fun of any, anybody. Yeah, I do. Your brother's a drunk. But you still, you still try to. We were making fun of him together earlier today, bitch. About his, about his sore throat. All right, well, I guess you have already. <laughs> that is a sore throat. Shut up. Julie. Shut up. Roy and Julie both got fired for being lushes, but the only person you want to talk bad about is Julie. Oh, Debbie's calling me. Hold on. Uh, don't put it on three way. I don't want to hear it. All right. Hang up. He had a bone guy. That's why they fired him. Because he was drunk and stealing equipment and selling it to Alton. Hello. What is your problem? When you hung up, it hung up what? on her too. Told you, I don't want to talk to her. Well, you don't have to talk to her, stupid. She's going to give me an update on something she said. You don't want to hear it? All right. All right, I'm going to put it on mute. No, why don't I just not put it on mute and then you'll have to believe me because I'm a liar when I tell you everything. Hold on. Hello? Oh, hello? I've got it on mute. Okay, good. Well, obviously not, because you said I have it on mute. Hello? That's right. I keep pushing the wrong button. Oh, it's because of Emma's phone. She does it different. Listen to the wind blow, watch the sun rise. Why are you mad at me, Lauren? Because you keep doing the same shit all, oh, all the time. Oh, hold on. Hello? I don't do the shit. You do it. Are you mad at me or something? What did I do wrong? Trying to be quiet. You're, you're calling Debbie. I'm going to put it on mute. You can call Debbie. Oh, God. Lauren's burned foul. I'm sorry. I'm trying to type her a message so she will call me back. I want to know what's going to happen. She says uh, there's an update. Huh. Well, try to call her again. I don't feel good. I had too much to drink last night. 
Oh, so you drank last night. Oh, God. Jesus. Do you realize you're in there for a... Uh, try to get sober on drugs? I didn't do a drug. Oh, God. What's alcohol? It's a drug, but I didn't drink any of it. I said I just drank too much last night. Yeah, you drank too much last night. Yes. Why was you drinking? Because they got a new fucking cappuccino machine, and it made so good cappuccinos. I had like five or six. My stomach hurts. I've been shitting mud butt all day. So you have you didn't have alcohol <laughs> last night at all? No, I had too many lattes, stupid. All right, well, I was... I had too much end. to drink. What do you think I, I fucking mean, felch it? I had too much to felch. How's that? I was going from what Joseph said the other, the, the other day. What? Were you bringing alcohol to whatever rehearsal or whatever? Oh, yeah. We did have drinks um, on uh, Wednesday night. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing funny about it, Winnie. You're, you're in there. I want you out of there. I want you out of there and here with me. But you keep doing shit that fucking keep that that makes you it just keeps you there or gives right, you more fucking up. time on probation or some shut shit. Up. It's Debbie, so shut up. Hi. Hi. Is there something? I think maybe you have another app on your phone that's taking over your microphone or something. Oh, yeah. Can you hear me at all? Is Lynn one horny? Horny? I'm horny. I'm horny. Is Debbie there? Yeah, I'm right here. Oh, hey, hi. What are you talking about? I don't know. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what? You're going to have a real fucking problem. If you keep hanging up on me like that when I'm trying to talk to you, I'm okay. just going to... Put Lauren on. I'm sorry. I was trying to put Lauren on. Lauren doesn't need to be on. Lauren can fuck off! <laughs> you are fucking up, Winnie. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Don't be mad. Sorry, I made a merge. Your voice was too quiet. I had to make it louder. I was calling you on the phone. I know, but it's funny when I call you on the phone. <laughs> I tried to call Roy. <laughs> Remember Roy? <laughs> it's just you and me, and it, um, only us. But I didn't, I didn't mean to get you mad. I love you. You're beautiful. Yeah. Okay. I didn't do anything wrong. I've just been in rehab. I know, I'm sorry. I got up and the bus was, they were getting on the bus already and I told them to wait for me so I could get my PJs on. And it... Oh. PJs. I was asleep when he came in. Yeah. Lauren makes, well, he makes me, I have to, or he'll get mad and think I'm cheating with Romeo, Victor, you know.
But I, I will, but I would love to marry him, please. I know, Matt Cracker, she's my favorite. Okay, I will get better, but Lauren said that I was fucking some guy in his bed, and I wasn't. I was in my bed all day. Maybe it was Anthony he heard when he said, what are you doing here? Lauren thought I was boning a dude Reno. I was not. <laughs> I know. No! No! Please! But you can save me. You, you, you can do it. Please. Yeah. Yeah, they, they chose me to be Juliet. But Lauren said I can't do it because of the poison scene. I know. I had to tell him. He thought I was lying when I said that the poison was a temporary poison, but she didn't know it. And then and the, I have to suck it off the tongue, and that's why it's a sorrowful kiss, a bittersweet oxymoron. He doesn't get it. <laughs> He's my moron. He's my moron strong, and I loathe him, even though he thinks I cheated with a guy. It was just Anthony yelling at me for sleeping in. But Lauren screamed at me for like an hour for it. No, but I was telling him the truth and he said I was a liar. I didn't do anything bad. I tried. I know. That's like a bad behavior by omission. Like when you got mad at me when um, you asked me what I ate and I said the Pop-Tarts, but I also ate all of the cocaine rocks that I was hiding in the ice cubes. And I don't want to do that. So I tell Lauren the truth all the time, even if he yells. But yeah, he I still think he's on yells. Mute. Listen up, little Debbie, if you want to take a chance, dun, 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 dun. just get on the floor and do the Armstrong dance. <laughs> you like it? But he just wants to show me he's good at target practice because he can pee inside. Remember when I taught? I no, so no, you have to take it off right now. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Yay, I like it a lot. I'm going to wear it. Hold on. Here, hold this. Hold my other shirt. Does it fit? Hold on. There we go. Does it? No, I'm not. Does it fit? Looks great. Nah. Thank you. I have a shirt now, I have a shirt now, I have a shirt now with a butt burger on it. Harakinchuai. That's what this lady's saying. Harakinchuai. That's, that's probably a language, huh? Okay, well, anyway. What are you going to do tonight? Are you going to go buy an 18-pack for Fama since you call, he called you earlier and made you feel like a special little boy? No, he called you yesterday and you put it on merge and he wanted beer because he was already drunk and stoned and you were, uh, you went, I'm an, I'm an, I'm an, I'm an, I'm an, but it's not because you had anything in your mouth. It's because you don't know how to talk, right? <laughs> <clears throat> well, I don't know if I'm working tomorrow or not. Like, fucking... I did too, Mad Cracker. Um, they haven't put out any recent episodes, have they? Last one I saw was like seven months ago. Hey, I gotta call the range if I'm working. She's that fat bitch that tries to fuck you. She's that 
For one, no, she's not bad. For two, no, I'm not attracted to her. Maybe you should have a talk three, with her. The way you told three, me to she's, have she's, she's, she's my dispatcher. Talk with Emma. You should go to her the way you told me to walk up to Emma and say, I'm worried about your health because of your weight. Maybe you should exercise and diet. I'll help you. Lorraine would like that. Every woman loves that. She great big Lorraine's fat. not fat. So, oh, you only do that with people who are fat? No, I'm not worried about her health. I don't even fucking know her. Okay. Why the hell would I even care about her? I don't know. Why she don't she's care? actually she's actually kind of weird. Why? Because you know, she tries to give you a fucking attitude until you give her an attitude back, and she gets all fucking smiley and shit, and she's fucking that. She's weird. She likes to troll you and make you upset. I wonder why. It's not fun. <laughs> Well, it's like yesterday, fucking, everything was all fucked up yesterday and irritated the hell out of me. And That's right, because you're always she, irritable. She, she, she was saying stuff, and uh, when I was going to, went to stop and get an empty trailer, when I was on the phone, I was telling her what the, the number of the trailer is and all that, and, and I went, huh. And she says, it's not funny. I said, Lorraine, I know it's not fucking funny. I said, I haven't been laughing all day. It's been quite an irritating day. She goes, ah. I said, what the fuck? I told you, they fuck with you. It's fucking it's weird. Charge. You don't believe me, but they do. No, they don't either. Yeah, they do. Why is it always sound no, like you're don't. wheeling a wagon behind you when you first start to talk and the wheels barely turning a little bit? Don't know. I've never heard anybody say that before, so. Well, I don't know how other people describe it. But before you say something, like you do a preparation squeak. I don't know. That's a good way to put a preparation (laughs) squeak. I know I did it on purpose that time. No, you didn't. Oh, all right. Anyway. There was a lady in the forum named Susan Bonds, and she went in there and said she does not appreciate people offering to punch you in the throat and that you've done your time. Is it a fucking troll? No, Susan Bonds is actually a really decent person. Is she, it a real person? She's gay. Yeah, she's oh, gay. It's a good thing you told me that. Now I know everything I need to know about her. Did you include her when you said queers and the F word earlier, or was it just other people? No. Don't I've written back it. and forth to Susan a little bit. Well, don't you think she would be offended? And I've, I've, talked, I've talked to Susan. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that I used the word queer and faggot, all right? Please don't keep bringing it up. I don't need to know that Susan is gay. If you want to tell me something nice about her. Well, she's, one, she's, one, she's one of my friends. That, you know, I didn't say anything bad about her. She's one of my friends. That, you know, I didn't say anything bad about her. She's one of my friends. that. I didn't say anything bad about her. She's one of my friends that I didn't say anything bad about her. She's one of my friends that I didn't say anything bad about her. She's one of my friends that I don't know why this is skipping. I didn't say anything bad about her. Yeah, you told me her orientation as if it was something that was very important. Yeah, because, before you because told she's me one of my else. she's one of my gay friends. Oh God! Really? I've talked to her on. I've talked to her on the phone. And I've written Wait. letters back and forth with her. Well, all right. Well, she's defending you on the forum. I can't remember which state it is that she's in now, though. Well, I don't know, she but I. A, I thought it, like it was Utah. Yeah, or probably. New Mexico. Maybe I think it was New Mexico. Well, whatever. She's like. I guess she's real then, because she came in. And, and she said, I'm highly disappointed that we are all adults, that we're talking like we here, I'll read it. We are talking like we are in the schoolyard. Lauren Armstrong may not be a perfect man, but are any of you? I would venture to say no. Nobody is perfect. Everybody makes mistakes and some people learn from them, where some people pay attention to other people's mistakes and live in the past, except for 
instead of using the person's current personality and how they are living their lives as a testament to who they're who they really are inside. Lorne is more than just a cartoon character for you to poke fun at. He is a real man with real feelings. Yeah, Susan. I like Susan. I've so that was nice real? Because sometimes Susan. people That was her. real. Sometimes Susan. People, I like, like Susan. Don't and I don't pronounce her name, Susan. Don't get mad. Sometimes people say that. Oh, no, no. Like sarcastically. Like they say, oh yeah, Lorne's such a good man. He would never fuck a little girl. And, like, I don't know if I was reading that like a sarcasm, you know? Yeah, no, that was real. That was, she's a real person. She's a, she's a real friend. Well, that's nice. I'm glad to hear that not everybody from the Church of God was a fecal, a fecal matter. No. Maybe she can help with the thing. I think I'm because she. No, she's she's uh she's got a drinking problem too. Oh well, her email address on the forum is certified drug counselor N M. Oh, that must be New Mexico. At hotmail dot com. Maybe well, she's maybe she maybe she got sober. That would be good if she did. It's been oh two or three years since I talked to her. Well, I'm glad to know all of her business. That's very nice of you. I hope she is sober because if she is, then um, maybe you can get some of your inspiration. A year is a long time not to drink, and I've never been able not to drink for a year, but I did not do Coke for a year once when I was pregnant. And you was probably a completely different person, weren't you? Yeah, I was a lot younger. Yeah, you was a lot younger. I just remember that, so... I was like 12. <laughs> yeah. God. Sorry you've had a messed up life, baby. Yeah, well, you can help it not be messed up by agreeing not to contribute to the messed up part by screaming at me for things I don't do. I tell you the truth. You know it. Even if you get mad, you'll get the truth from me. I don't see why you haven't realized that from That's all awesome. my Sprinkle behavior cake. in the past. Again, I don't again. fucking lie. Even if it pisses me off. I tell you, don't die. Well, I, I guess the thing with Victor really upset me quite a bit. Because the whole the whole time I was thinking... I'm sad I wasn't around when you used to stream. And it was safe for you to be around. and uh, So that upset me quite a bit. Okay. I will stop yelling. What's funny is Roscoe and Sadie were chasing around. Well, Sadie might not have the first, not until she gets to know you, but Roscoe will. <laughs> when was the last time you jacked off? And don't say five minutes ago when I was crying. <laughs> what? Um, maybe two, two or three days ago. Were you talking to Dan when you busted no. off? <laughs> okay. No. Oh, why would I do that? You're the only one. You're the only one I think of when I jack off. Yeah, right. You're the only one I think of anyway. Bullshit. I don't lie about it either. Bullshit. I'm quite proud. I'm, yeah, I'm, you I'm, think of a faceless person that you have no idea what they look like, and someone who likes to torment you. 23 out of 24 hours a day. That's what you think of. I'm quite proud of them. Were you born with a penis? I was. Then you think about 20 different women when you jack off, and they all look better than the one that you come home to. Well, you think that all you want, but not every person is the same. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. <laughs> yeah, they are. No, they're not. You want to fuck the lady at Laney's? She's nice. Oh. 
I don't know. Emma said she was nice because she gave her cups or something. No. Uh, I, I don't know either. I don't, I don't know any of them there. Yeah, you do. You probably want to stick your dink in them, but they all avoid you and make the guy go, go the guy go up to the, the cash register to check you out because you're, you know, a registry. No, I don't know any of them there. Go over there and ask for Terry. I, Best do, one. I do know. I do know. I do know the owner. Terry. I don't know him. Terry. Personally, personally, but. Terry. Terry what? Terry, contrary oppositional disorder. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, well, anyway, I still don't know what you said, but anyway, I know I know the owner of Laney's. So what? You want a fucking blue ribbon or something? I don't fucking care. No, I'm just fucking telling you. Don't get mean to me. You don't even know who the owner is. What is? Her name Lainey. You go fuck her too, bastard. His name. It's a him. What are they talking about? What I don't understand where this conversation went. He was related to Aunt Sharon. Because Aunt Sharon was married to his brother a long, long time ago. Did he run off with Dale Burden too? That's perfect, <laughs> Sprinkle Cake. Absolutely. No. Do you yes, think that Dale absolutely do that, licked out sure. that woman's pussy when it still had one of Roy's pubes, like when Dan's vibrator popped in your face and you swallowed a pubic hair of his? I don't know, and I don't want to know. Does, does Dan's penis taste good? Don't know, and I don't want to know. Oh, you want to know. Okay, I'm going to call Emma, and you have to have a talk with her about her weight, okay? Because you're the one who told me to do it, and I didn't do it right. Okay. Oh, my God. I don't want you interrupting me, saying, you said this, you said this. Uh, I okay. know what I said. Hold on. You mean the one where they, um, where Emma and Dan visit, Dan Jones? Is that which one you're talking about? Ed Rock and Patient Rehab, this is Emily. What up, bitch? I am, uh. I am, uh. Hey, what's up? Winnie, don't call her bitch. Shut up. What are you doing? Getting ready to go. What's up? Well, why are you breaking up with Dan? I'm not. What are you talking about? Okay. Winnie told me last night that you were breaking up with Dan. When you were on the phone, you were crying. Oh, God. And? Even if she wasn't, or even, I'm sorry, even if he wasn't the one that called her at work, why would you sit there and start grilling her and questioning her why she's breaking up with Dan while she's at work? Is it because you're afraid that Winnie's now going to go after Dan? I think that's a safe bet. Um, see. I think I can. Yeah, if you have the link, I have it. I just don't know where it's at. And when he is saying, calling you fat and all this shit, I told her not to do that. I told her if she has, if she has a problem with, with whatever you weigh, then she needs to tell you in a different way that she's worried about you. No, Lauren says you're fat and that there has to be a nice way to tell no, you. No, 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 no. This is what I'm saying, Winnie. Don't, don't say that I said anything. That's I know what said. I said. That's exactly what you said, and then you told me I, I did not. And tell her nicely. No, I didn't. Yes, Winnie? you did. You did. Winnie, stop interrupting me. Stop interrupting me. But you did. I did not come. Emma, I did not call you fat. I know. I you said did. you're about the, you're about the same size as Carrie. 
Nell, you said she was fatter than Carrie, and then you said she's fatter than anybody you ever. No, had. I said I said Emma is like, Emma's smaller. Than, I don't I don't know. They're both the same size. No, we both not. trying to fucking start shit. That's what happens when you lie, Lauren. It's the goddamn bullshit that you do. You know what? I don't feel comfortable having this conversation with you guys. It's it's my business, and um, I'm gonna hang out. Lauren thinks you're fat. Shut up, Winnie. Hang on, I gotta answer this call. It's my dispatcher. Hang on. Mm. Let me uh, talk to her the way that I want to talk to her and tell her things. Well, I, don't don't want, just, I don't want you to. I don't want you to interrupt come, me and say that I uh, that I said certain things a certain way. Why don't you just come fucking out and say what you because fucking? I did want. not call her fat. You did. I did not call to. her fat. All right, this one should be over shortly. Winnie, here. You need to get off the subject of people being fat. I didn't even or, fucking initiate or, it. I always call everybody fat, stupid. Or, well, you need to not do that. It's, it's offensive to people. Why do you want to offend everyone? At least I don't fucking tippy-toe around the truth and try to convince people of something that they're not. Of something they're not? Like what? Uh, don't worry, Emma. You're not that fat. Not fat. Hello, Neandra. How's it going? You need to get off of that subject. You're the one who fucking made such a the big only one that, that has a problem you with the, the, one. the only one that has a problem with the way that Emma looks is you. Well, why did you take it? You have a fetish with her. Throw out every fucking day and then start off on this. You have a fetish with the, with Emma, with the way Emma looks. Oh, God, here Some we go. Some fucked up reason. Here we go. Emma can look however she wants to look. Yeah, that's right. So maybe you shouldn't have fucking... A real friend is going to accept her anyway. Say. A real friend is going to accept her anyway. Doesn't matter how she looks. So you talk, you talk about me tiptoeing around things and shit like that? Yeah. Well, what about you? What about you with Debbie? What about me with Debbie? I told her you were a moron. You had an ugly dick, so. You tiptoe around things. And you can't so she gets off the phone. Person, by the way. So she gets off the phone, she comes back to me and you say, the 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 attraction or obsessive. Shut up. Over something that's not living, like a shoe, like a shoe fetish. All right, I'm... I'm done talking about this shit now. I'm just, it's tiring. Maybe you shouldn't have brought it up because none of your fucking business. Uh, you keep right. You keep doing the same. You keep doing the same shit all the time. Your fucking business. Then maybe you should just. His brain has so many misfires. It's like yeah, yeah. keep your nose where it belongs in your own. Fucking My nose is out. Oh really? Yeah. Keep it where it fucking belongs. Oh. It belongs on trying to tell you you need to stop fucking putting people down. Yeah, Lauren. Or, well, stop getting involved in people's personal lives where Lauren. you don't fucking belong. Exactly. Stop getting involved in person in people's personal lives. You're the like one Dan who and Emma's. does it. You're the one who does like it. Like Dan and Emma's. Did I need to know about what type of genitals Susan prefers on her love interest to know how you feel about her as a friend? No. No. Whatever, I am. Uh, I, I can't believe you're fucking doing that shit. What? Bringing what? up the truth, bringing up a basis for my argument. That's something you're not used to doing because you argue from emotion. Like you, like you getting in on Dan and Emma's fucking relationship. You don't need to. I can do what I want, and Dan's my there best. There you go. You, I can do what I want. That's right. I can. I can do what I want. Doesn't mean doesn't matter how, how it makes me look. I can do what I want, as long as I'm telling the truth. All right. So uh, now it's not always as long as I'm telling the truth. Now that we've taken a trip a decade ago. Showing so respect for people. was in your head before you went to go see Kayla. Let's go back to the present. Shut up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Maybe you should find a miniature horse to climb on top of when you're going to fucking preach, bitch, so you don't have to fall so fucking far. Maybe you should, bitch. You don't have to fucking go back on what you say. 
Oh, so now I'm a bitch because I'm right. It must hurt you really you're, bad not to be able to argue with somebody who's right. You're a bitch because you keep calling me a bitch. You're a bitch because you wanted to fuck a little girl and you looked at your niece's fucking camel toes before they were old enough to menstruate, you fucking pig. Did I hit a sore spot, Uncle Lorny? <laughs> Wipe the pre cum from your cock and stop thinking those thoughts about them. I'm tired of you saying stupid shit. Everything I say is intelligent because I'm an intelligent woman, so stop talking shit. I would argue that even though when he says stupid shit, I think the, sh the shit that he says is more stupid. No, when you say stupid shit, you're not intelligent. It's not stupid shit if it's the truth. Just because it hurts your feelings, it's stupid. Okay, shut up. Oh, you think it's the truth? Yeah, I, yeah, I think it's the fucking what? truth. Yes. You think? You, all right, bye. What's your fucking problem? Can't you fucking have a conversation without hanging up like a little fucking toddler, bitch? No, when you say that fucking bullshit and actually think it's the truth. Prove it's not. It's fucking That's... disgusting for you to even say that shit. Prove it's not. I don't have to fucking prove anything to you. Yeah, you do. I'm your wife, bitch. Call your niece and just say hi. Um, see how she reacts. I'm not going to call my niece either. I don't have a fucking number. You know why? You better stop fucking in the fucking, stepping into fucking places you don't need to be. Mm-hmm. That's right. Just Dude, like when you're you... You're trying to uh, No, you're trying to fucking contact more of my fucking family. I don't want to contact them. That's what you're trying I, to do. I don't want to contact them. You better knock your bullshit off. I'm telling you that. Knock your fucking bullshit off. I bet that was your brother's reaction when he read the part of the chat log where you bought tiny shorts for them, right? Just little girls. Hey, Winnie, I'm done talking to you for the night because you can't fucking stop. Did he beat your ass, Lauren? You do the same fucking bullshit all the time. Did he beat your ass for what you said about Shut the up if you girls? want me to stay on the phone. Did he or not? Just tell me. If you want me to stay on the phone, shut up. I have to go in there and fucking deal with my dispatcher. Yesterday I asked you. How many people who committed sex offenses and were caught were actually hit by the people? I want to know hey, if your brother gave it to you the way you deserved it, the way you gave it to his daughters. What's up there, Joe? You know what I mean? How you doing? Does Joe know you used to sit him on your lap and get a fucking boner for the little girl butts? Does Joe know that? Merry Christmas to you guys, too. Merry Sorry, I got, I got my girlfriend yapping in my ear, so I'm yeah. trying to hear everything you guys are saying. Yeah, too. <laughs> tell, him, tell him I said Merry Christmas from me, right. and I don't, I don't fuck kids. Victor's 19. It's a really nice thing to say. Yeah. Got my wife yapping in my ear. Why don't you just call our dog while you're at it? Oh, yeah, girlfriend, whatever. What I say, Hurry up and get off of work so you can go lick Tony's taint. You know, he wants you to buy him beer so you can have a ticket to his house to some friendship today. Are you going to go play charades with Roy? Try to figure out what he's trying to say. With his laryngitis. Nothing tomorrow at all. Nope. You're not working tomorrow. <laughs> go see Tony. Tuesday. Monday for Tuesday, yeah. yeah. I'm, she's yapping too, so it's, I'm not using this ear here. <laughs> I'm all set. Joe, what do you get for work for me tomorrow? Right? She is. Load, loaded up the day, huh? <laughs> All right. Thanks, Lane. Okay. All right. Thank you. Why is it you can't be... Good night, Sprinkle Cake. You're the best. Thanks so much for coming. 
Hope you have a wonderful evening, and I will see you next time. Why did I to not say anything when I'm in there talking to people with them? I wouldn't have something to do with my job. Why can't you be a decent human being? That's just that you're saying about my fucking knee. You gross me out saying that shit. Did your brother ever ask you about it? No. Mm. Have you been on the wall all day, happened. baby? You fucking gross me out by saying that shit. You grossed me out to see what you said about those little girls in the chat log. Did it gross you out when you read it? Hey, God damn it. I'm fucking done with you fucking saying stupid shit to me. Did it or not? Are you going to grow a pair and talk, or are you going to run away? I'm not talking to you about stupid shit. I'm done with that. It's stupid to you, but it means the world to me. Hey, Laura, well, it's not the all fucking about you. conversation I had with Kayla 11 fucking years ago, I'm done with it. Under fucking stand that I am fucking... I love as we listen to the calls... The time goes up like it was eight years then it was nine years and then a couple, I don't know, a couple streams ago when we were a few months back, it was 10 years and now today it's 11 years. It's just, it's just satisfying to see how our Lorne has evolved. John, talk. Which is not much. Look at all that shit. Ten years ago, I've talked to you enough about it already. A girl who was abused, and she has to still live with that every day. Did you know that? Yeah. So I have to pay for what you went through in your life. No. Well, yeah. Actually, in reality, what I did is what I have to pay for. That's right. And I paid you... my fucking dues. No, you haven't. You're you want to talk to me about the stuff that you've gone through in your life, and and have me be able to talk to you back? Don't keep fucking throwing Kayla in my face. This is part of those dues, bitch. Haven't you fucking gotten it by no, now? No, this is not part of those dues. Yes, it is. If you think this is part of those dues, then we can do away with each other. If you think ain't it's fucking not, playing that bullshit if game. If you think it's not, then you're so stupid. Was that his attempt to play on words? If this is what you think paying my dues is, then we should do away with each other. Like, I don't know if he meant to say that or if he was making a really stupid joke, but. No. You want to be able to talk to me about things that happened in your fucking past? No. Fine. I will talk about you, uh, your past with you. But I've already talked about all the stuff with it has to do with the fucking conversation, me going to Nashville and everything. No, you you fucking know everything. No, I don't. I don't need to continuously talk about it. I'm not going to. I want to know why you took your nieces to go get little shorts from the store and then lied about saying how it happened. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you fucking, you're right back to the same goddamn thing again. That's all I want to know. That's all I've ever wanted to know. And all you do is say that. I told you. Uh, I told you exactly what happened. I mean, they didn't get any short shorts or tight shorts. It was just Leanne because Leanne fucking snuck them in there. So there you go. But you said she asked for permission. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that I was on the fucking bottom until she came walking out of the bedroom with them. You said. On the patio, and I asked I asked her mother where she got them. She asked for your permission. You don't fucking think you know everything. It made you proud that she asked you for your permission for the tiny shorts. How would perverted justice know about the tiny shorts? Shut up. How would they know about God the tiny damn it, shorts? I'm fucking tired How of you thinking you know everything. How would they know about the tiny fucking shorts, Lauren, to make it Shut up me. if it Fuck didn't you. fucking happen? At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press 5. When you're done crying, you can give me a call back. When you want to be honest, you want to demand honesty from me all the fucking time, but you don't ever want to give any of it up for yourself. You want to wind up making yourself look like a good person. People see through your fucking lies, and it makes you look worse, you fucking asshole. Yeah. Hey, yo.
I'm talking to shipping. Hang on. Okay. No, I think I'm taking an empty, I think. Um, Lawrence Byrne phone you want your is shirt back. Winnie is a bitch is the name of this call from December 14th, 2018. Smells like armpit. No, you've been wearing it. Do you want no. to wash it? I'm not talking to you. Here you go, Zach. <laughs> oh. Do you have another shirt I can put on? Come on. <laughs> what? Why do you keep putting other guys' shirts on? Because I liked it, but it's Again. too big. And it smells like an armpit. Why doesn't Lorraine have a load for you? Again. Uh, shut up. Asshole. I gotta call Lorraine. You were talking to my ear when I, I think she said I need to take an empty bag. <laughs> She wasn't talking. Hang on. I want you to go home. She's crying. Hang on, so I can call her. Call her then. Oh fuck! Let me call. Let me call you back because I don't know her fucking number without going to my contact list. Yeah, let me memorize. Let me call you back. You call her every day, stupid. I, I don't. I don't know. That's all. I don't memorize the number. It's on my contact list. Mm, you should memorize it then. Let me. Let me call you right back. Let me call you right back. Hurry up, ugly. <laughs> Hurry up, ugly. I love I love the subtle little jab she gets in there. It makes my heart happy. Are you wearing your safety glasses over the bill of your Patriot hat? Yep. <laughs> Are you looking at me on Google Earth? <laughs> I don't know. Are you watching me? So stupid. Wow. Can you see this? Can you see this? Nah, uh, fuck you, asshole. <laughs> I don't wonder if you could actually see me. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Now you fucking have your fucking face, you little smart ass. Okay, hey, hang on, baby. It's if you're gonna try to test her to see if she can actually see you, you shouldn't prompt her to let her know what you're doing. The range calling me back, so I couldn't get a hold of her. Okay. Hang on. I've been chain smoking all day. Green and brown, you know. Nah. What's green and brown? Right. Yo. The tobacco and weed that I'm rolling in a joint right now. Don't yell at me. I'm allowed. I'm not. Okay. I'm not yelling if you. I'm not yelling at you for smoking weed. Well, I'm always anticipating you scream at me for doing anything. I just took a nap today. My counselor came in and you yelled at me because my counselor found me in my bed. Come on. Um, I didn't deserve yeah, that. Didn't, I didn't. I didn't know it was your counselor. It doesn't matter. Why do you assume it's a guy whose bed I'm in? Come on. I deserve more respect than that, don't I? I mean, really. Well, you're trying to get fucking close to these guys there, and it's like, why? Why do you need to get that close to the guys there? The things that you say to them, it, it bothers me. I don't know, Dan Jones. I, I wouldn't be I surprised. But I don't I want a lighter collection on, on a tray under my TV. That would be so cool. A what? What? A lighter collection? 
A what a collection? A writer collection? Lighters. I need to buy new lighters, too. Oh, collection of lighters. What are you going to draw? <laughs> I love you. You busted me. <laughs> okay, I got to put it on mute now. <laughs> Who's that? Hi, Keely. I was going to come up who? behind her. Keely. I was going to come up behind her. Who's Keely? I'm Kayla. telling you, uh, Keely with an oh, L. Well, Hi, Eddie. Keely. Keely with an L. Kiwi, I put those in my fruit juice. Kiwi, Kiwi, Kiwi. Okay, Kiwi. I got it. God, I go up behind her because I thought that was a, little... a great big donk. Oh, God, so dumb. A great big donk for an ass, and everybody loves her, and everybody like wants to fucking grab it because everybody's a fucking pig in the world. And I go up behind her and I stick my finger right between her cheeks and she goes, ah! But she busted me before I could do it this time. <laughs> are you going to make a snowman? Uh, what are you doing, hypocrite? I had to put the, push the button in and I couldn't reach it. They want to push Stanley's button in. One of them's an inny, the other one's an outy. If you're reaching for a button, do you really have to grunt and exert unnecessary force to push a button? Yeah. Come on, man. No. Just your button. You're an asshole. Why are you being all nice to me? Because you're going to go to Tony's tonight. That's not why I'm being nice to you, but, but you, you you stop saying stuff to try to irritate me. Well, because you stopped so I don't being have any rude. Reason. I got to tell you, well, don't use slurs with me. Do you understand? I can call Emma if, I, if I want. Yes. Uh, that, that's just, is that dragon or what? It's not he, okay. He has to. He must think that's impressive or something that he is. Like, I've, to me, it just sounds like you're struggling. That doesn't sound like you're. I don't know. Like, you, you picture some ripped, jacked guy or girl at the gym. Like, they're not making that kind of noise. They're like doing it like a boss, man. Not. Acting like they're dying or having their limbs ripped off. Okay, good. The only time you need to no, talk that's about not okay. somebody's orientation is if, is if it's relevant or you're having sex with them. It doesn't matter. Well, what were you doing, Lauren? Why are you uh, Why are you needing to exert as much force as you are? Oh, I had to push a button. And you don't need to refer to them in such a derogatory way. It's not relevant to call Emma a wetback. You're right. It's not even nice. But how dare you commit such a hypocrisy? I've been doing it all wrong, Lauren's really? phone. I, uh, the trash well, I know. I, I, I did from your hand. I know. Heard listen. from your mouth, Roy's. Okay, l girl. Listen, friend, please. You called her an N-word eight times, and you screamed it at the top of your lungs. Roy's oh, boyfriend. Uh, uh, I, uh, uh, no. Now you're going back uh, further than we need to go back. No, we don't. It's still a part of your consciousness, okay. and I don't like it. Okay, we're getting back into a into a yelling match. I'd rather not get into a yelling match. Who's I'm tired yelling? Of, I'm of not being yelling. upset. This whole time, I've been talking calmly, except for when you refuse to listen. I've been being fine. I'm just asking you, out of fucking common courtesy, will you please not say stupid fucking disparaging shit about a whole group of people please asshole yes i will i will stop saying i've, I've been trying to stop saying it. It's, it's, sometimes it's it slips out sometimes it slips out because of the way that i used to talk and because back in the day that's back in the 80s that's the way we used to talk when did it change? Huh? When did it change? It's the way you used to talk, but you stopped. I'd like to think that that would straighten his ass up, but 
I mean, come on, look what we're talking about. I, I doubt it would make any difference. I'm talking that way, but it's still the way you think. That's what I'm saying. No, it's, it's, no, that's the thing. It's not the way that I think. Yes. That's not all, the way I think at all. All alcohol no, does it is remove the wall of inhibition that would stop your thoughts from coming out before. That's not the way I think, though. That's that. That's, you know, I've got, uh, I'll, I'll work so you are lying. Okay, come you. on. Would not Come on, really, you're, starting, you're starting to do that again. Because you're just... Starting to tell me what my thoughts are. You're defending yourself, but you're lying. I am. But I know lying. I am. When did you stop saying the N-word? Right, I, didn't, I didn't really never even said it right up until... I don't know, maybe, maybe when I went to prison. Oh, really? Because you just got through saying that in the 80s and 90s. That's how everybody talked. We, you said. No, I was, I was, I was talking about gay people. Oh, God. No, we were talking that's way, that's way, of, We were talking about... people talked in the 80s. All right, and I understand. Okay, come on. Come on. And that's not... I'm so okay. tired of talking about this stuff. Because you're tired of being held responsible for your behavior. Cut it out. I am tired of, st of talking about this stuff. When did you stop talking about them like that? When you went to prison and became something in your head that was like an object of their desire or something? Because you're not, by the way. Gay men like a different no. kind of build. Not a fat. No, I stopped build. talking about them because, because uh, I just, after hearing a lot of them, what they had to say, it's just a fact of the matter that it's the way some people are and they, can, they can't help it. Well, that's great. So you're acknowledging then that in your ignorance as a young man, you didn't really consider people who were gay or, you know, different from you in some way, like black or Mexican or whatever, the same, like, human being as you. And Welcome then you realize that once you got to know a few of them. And that's okay. Yeah. Right? You weren't cheating, were you? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's what I'm saying, uh, because it, it's just flips. Well, it, out, it flips from, out of respect it's for from back own, when I was younger. Out of respect for your own self-growth, perhaps you should try your best to completely eliminate that language. Because I've heard you say it a lot, and I haven't really said much about it in the past because of my racist <laughs> stuff. But I'm working on that, and I'd appreciate it if you not do that anymore, okay? It's very offensive to me. Okay. Okay. And I am trying. I am trying to work on it. Now, can we please talk about something else? Yes. Your mom's coochie smells like pumpkin spice. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, that's very offensive to me when you, when you say things about. Like, she just had that ready. Like, how did she just pull that out of nowhere? Please talk about something else. Yes. Your mom's coochie smells like pumpkin spice. No, 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 no. See, that's very offensive to me when you when you say things about my mom. I'm not done yet. She wrote on a pumpkin pie all the way to heaven. You need to be done saying. You need to be done saying things about my mom because that's especially where you're gonna be my wife. It, that's uh, that's not something a daughter-in-law does. Listen, uh, I drew a picture of your mom writing a pumpkin pie into heaven from Earth, and it's for when she dies. That way, it'll, I can put it in a nice frame and put it on top of her coffin because it's beautiful. Okay. Before you said that, you were saying something about her coochie. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I said your yeah. mom. I said, your mama's coochie smells like pumpkin spice because she's flying on a pie through space. But you didn't let me finish the context, like always. Just fucking add your own. Sorry, man. Kelly? Yeah, I'll put it in door 40. All right, what were you waiting Let me know. Uh... Thank you. Ask that guy to love you for Christmas. No. Tell him you're going to put on a Santa mankini and twerk in his face. <laughs> you bring a guy up, up to the his pants so you can suck him? 
What do you got a glory hole? <laughs> I think that guy left the seal right here. Tell that guy he has pumpkins. Right. Yeah. Spice a la verga. No. Oh, God. Hey. Uh, yeah. What? I'm hey, done Joe. for the day. Here you go. Fucking sucks. Joseph. Because I can't. I'm not working tomorrow. Here, Zach. Can you give this to Joseph? Thank you for letting me use your lighter. Do you want some of... I have them right here. See I Shit. There he goes again. I'll trade you some blue dream for your Alcala strain. Okay. Lauren, I got what? You don't need alcohol. No, it's not alcohol. Especially when when it's Listerine. Shut the fuck Uh, up. What? I thought thought you said alcohol Listerine. No, it's the Al the Alcala strain of marijuana. It's called Alcala. Oh. Yeah, you know how they got different strains of alcohol, you idiot. Like like oh. Like hey Brian, French, how's it going? Like I've never heard of it. Like Al Groton, but Al California, but they just called Alcala. Okay. Okay, listen. The next time you fucking skip to a conclusion, make sure you're wearing fucking ruby slippers, bitch, because that's the only forgivable way you're going to fucking get away with it. Cut it out. Shut can't up. You, can't you fucking Shut ask, up. ask for clarification before you fucking make all these implications? Well, wow, when I think I hear when I thought I heard you say alcohol listerine. Yeah. Then ask me to clarify. It. Okay. Did I happen to hear Whatever. You say this? And I will Stop say Stop bitching me just a bitch at me. No. Yeah. yeah, that's uh, that's like saying don't don't correct me. I have a free pass. I'm Lauren Armstrong. I have a free pass to yell at you, and I don't understand. That's what you're doing. You're just bitching at me to bitch it's at me. Not. I'm asking you because today you've already displayed the behavior two times within one hour. But you hear me say something, or you hear something happen. You make up your own fucking story to go along with it, like you have our whole relationship. All I'm doing is asking you well, to ask before you accuse. And what are you going to say now? That it's not a problem. I think it's going to happen again in half an hour. Thank you, Lauren. Fucking not a problem. Most not a problem. <laughs> I, love I love you. You're the most fucking predictable fetal alcohol syndrome tragedy in the fucking world. I love you. Yeah, apparently Al-Qaeda Listerine is illegal. Al-Qaeda Listerine. Yes. Whatever. Shut up. We're going to go to the fucking corner store for some beer. Hurry up. I got to go back to Waterville before I go anywhere. We need to go to Waterville first. You can stick your cock in Lorraine and have a conversation with her about her fucking blood pressure and how you're worried about her. Bitch. Let me see. Oh, that Rain sucks, is down here in Poland, and I need to go to Waterville because that's where I park my truck and that's where I put my car. Did you leave your four Make sense to you now? Do you want to you want to ask first right? before you start jumping to conclusions? <laughs> okay, you got me there. Are you able to um, get it like like the password like reset or like regain control of it, or is it just kind of gone? <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> But you're still never, ever going to be able to fuck anybody as hot as me without paying her. So I win anyway, huh? Oh, whatever. 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 Smart ass. That's right, bitch. I'm the fucking smartest fucking bitch you've ever known. Are you starting to stop <laughs> calling people bitch all the time? I just called myself a bitch, cunt. The fuck? Stop being such a fucking oh, little bitch. Oh, yeah, but you called me a bitch again, too. You are a bitch, you fucking poodle. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Smart ass. Maybe he should start drinking Listerine. I mean, it would be better for his teeth, I guess. But... You picking his dick face. <laughs> Looking like you chase parked cars with your face all flat. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, my head said that my head just just read out low batteries. We're probably got uh, uh, probably a half hour or so. I'm I think. Fuck. Don't be like that. That's what Zachary said. I'm sorry. Said. The person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please uh, try your call again later. Right. Goodbye. We mean we mean don't be like that. I got to be honest with you. Let's know when my head set says low battery, so that way you're nice. aware it's a low battery, and I'll have to recharge it in a little bit. You pay $90 for a headset that you bang against any fucking wall whenever it doesn't do what you want, and you don't even fucking spend $5 for a cord long enough for you to charge it while you use it. Lauren Logic. These, these cords are different than cords that you plug into a phone. They're actually, they got a little magnet on the end of them, and they're just short cords. But I've got one here in the truck. So when it runs out, I can charge up five, ten minutes, and I'll have another two or three hours on it. Zach, Zach, we are Zach, celebrating at another birthday bash. Lauren Armstrong, it's your birthday today. Your cake and ice cream is on its way. Lauren Armstrong, you've been a good boy this year. Now bend over so Roy can lick your ear. Bear it up. Bear it up. Bear it up. Smart ass. You're a smart ass. Go fucking suck Tony's cock, you dickweed. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Shit. Oh, hey, fuck. what ear do you have your head set on? What, what do I have, what? Oh, God. Which ear do you have My your right ear. set? My right ear. Okay. My so, right ear. Uh, okay, so your headset's in your right ear, and are you saying that it's in your right ear, and it comes out by your mouth and curves to the left? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Jesus. I beg your pardon? <laughs> oh, no, whatever. I didn't hear what you said. It's okay? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's close enough. <laughs> Did you hear those little... Those were like... Some massive mini syllables. I didn't hear what you said. It's okay? <laughs> What? How? I don't. How does? How do people? I don't. Okay. That has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. We mean, we mean, don't be like that. I gotta be honest with you. Let's know when my headset says low battery, so that way you're aware it's a low battery, and I'll have to recharge it in a little bit. You pay $90 for a headset that you bang against any fucking wall whenever it doesn't do what you want, and you don't even fucking spend $5 for a cord long enough for you to charge it while you use it. Lauren Logic. These, these cords are different than cords that you plug into a phone. They're actually, they got a little magnet on the end of them, and they're just short cords. But I've got one here in the truck. I went back way too far. I just wanted to hear. So when it runs out, I can charge up five, ten minutes, and I'll have another whimper. two or three hours on it. Zach, Zach, we are Zach, celebrating at another birthday bash. Lauren Armstrong, it's your birthday today. Your cake and ice cream is on its way. Lauren Armstrong, you've been a good boy this year. Now bend over so Roy can lick your ear. Bear it up. Bear it up. Bear Smart ass. You're a smart ass. Go fucking suck Tony's cock, you dickweed. Whatever. Whatever. Shit. Oh. Hey. Fuck. What ear do you have your head set on? Sorry, I went back too far. I... What, what do I have? What? Oh, God. Which ear do you have My your right ear. set? My right ear. Okay. My so, right ear. Uh, okay, so your headset's in your right ear, and are you saying that it's in your right ear, and it comes out by your mouth and curves to the left? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Jesus. I beg your pardon? <laughs> oh, no, whatever. I didn't hear what you said. It's okay? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's close enough. <laughs> Did you hear those little fucking word attempts that all escaped from your mouth? Like, they were like... A, there were like little tiny slurs 
very hateful homophobic slurs escaping from your mouth without you and my oh, so so <laughs> you heard what I said you just want me to repeat it so you can bitch me out Nope. No. I wanted to make sure they I, all I flew out that. of your mouth just like a ghost I know. Really? Well, after I said it, after I said it to myself, I was like, look, she just fucking asked me not to say that. Not a mistake. Well, you know what was the mistake was you telling me that you stopped using language like that. And then it just well, my All look- right, come on. Come on. You You are constantly telling me. How, how bad I am at stuff. Let me ask you something. Please stop doing that. I gave you a friendly reminder. And then maybe if you'd <sighs> shut up I would just... and do a little bit of introspection, you might see that I'm right. I know we well, talked about this I like a night or two ago, ago but... I thought. Have you ever thought of that? Oh, it right, would maybe. be really interesting if he did donate his brain to science. If I brought your attention to it after his life is over, because before, but now you are. I'm just fucking trying to help. Always trying to accuse. I don't know anything um, of that nature, you, but times you come across like I feel like I would be very interested to learn of something that I do wrong. Well, then don't be so fucking imperfect. Even on the little thing, I. Working on them. Yeah. You're like a little tea kettle, and your wiener pops up when you have too much steam, and it goes. Well, <laughs> stupid. I wish you were here with me. Why? So I could put a rubber band around your balls and cheer when they fall off. Finally, that's what they do to bulls to neuter them. No. It would be so much better if you are here. Oh, yeah, I know. That way I can insult you to your face. Perfect. I'm with Dutchess no, on this one. Don't drink Lister. That's just going to stop because that's not a good relationship. Fuck you, ugly short dick bitch. <laughs> that was good, huh? Did you like that? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't even funny. No, it was actually really funny because you asked me not to do something and then I did the opposite. That always gets a laugh. But it, shut up. No, it doesn't. Well, it did for me. Rats, rats, we are rats. Anyway. <laughs> I want you to go out. Um, <laughs> the fuck up. I want you to go out on that date. I had to yawn. Relax. <laughs> Shut up. I want you to. <sighs> Stop, I, I always say I, I think it, it sounds like his lungs like screaming for help. I want you to go out on that date with the lady that Aunt Sharon tried to hook you up with and see if she tries to blow you. And if she does, I swear I won't get mad. I just want to know. It'll be funny. No. No, I'm not going out on any date. Aunt Sharon hasn't seen her for quite some time either. Twenty-six hours to about another, another hour. Fuck. Not getting the overtime that I wanted to get this week. Jesus. I don't have to work tomorrow. I'd get close to the overtime that I want to get if I were working tomorrow. Cool story. You're not going to work tomorrow because they don't have any loads for you because you suck as an employee. No, they don't have any loads for anybody. Hi, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Hi, kitty. Go run away. Oh, bitch. I'm going to pet you one day, bitch. beautiful little bitch. That's awesome. Crap, crap, crap. I'm going to go to a buffet, and I'm going to eat a bunch of laxatives after, and then I'm going to glue my anus around your mom's mouth and shit it all into it. Well, well, listen to what you're saying. I just asked you to not say stuff that involves my mom. Wow. And I'm going to eat a bunch of laxatives after. Crap, crap, crap. 
I'm going to go to a buffet and I'm going to eat a bunch of laxatives after and then I'm going to glue my anus around your mom's mouth and shit it all into it. Well, well, listen to what you're saying. I just asked you to not say stuff that involves my mom. Well, if she wanted to shit in somebody else's mouth, Lauren, you'd be mad about that, too. Can't have it both ways. I am. I'm trying to think. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to let you go be a fat, stupid, worthless asshole on your own. I'm going to go to bed. You going to go to bed? It's like fucking 3 o'clock in the afternoon there. You going to bed? Yeah, that's right. What, are you going to do ninjutsu on me because you took one class as a kid? Well, I'm kind of hoping you'd get your sleeping back on track. Shut up, Lauren Jitsu. What is Lauren Jitsu can, that anyway? Way you can, that way you can get back on track and make it to class on time. What did you learn in Jitsu class? Rehab on time. Did you pull your cock back to the right and have it swing to the left and knock all your enemies out like the Stegosaurus used to do in its <laughs> spiky tail? Hey, you want you want to be serious and talk about this? Yeah, tell me about nin ninjutsu. I really want to know if you know how to do it, because I'll beat your ass with my Cobra Kai bag. I only took a few classes of that. I'm not, I'm strike not, first, strike hard, no, uh, Mercy Lauren. Okay, go ahead. What? Huh? I, I only took a few classes of that, so I, I don't hardly remember anything from them. I thought you were a ninja. That's why you shaved your head bald, so you could no, wear I'm that cool ninja. little ski mask thing that they wear. No. You're a ninja. Would you, you have... stay awake till at least six o'clock? Teenage Mutant Ninja Pedo. <laughs> oh, Baby, come on. Listen, Ninja Pedo. Listen to me and start talking. Uh, ninja Pedo sounds like N I N Nine Inch Nails Geppetto from <laughs> fucking Pinocchio. That's a new band name. <laughs> Resnor Geppetto. <laughs> Bitch! Nobody's ever said that before. <laughs> they probably have. Shut up. Will you stay up till at least six o'clock and try to get your sleeping habit back in on the schedule? Pinochai, like Pinocchio, but it's Pinochai and a Ninja Pedo. I smell a porno coming. <laughs> Ninja Pedo. Oh, Pinocchio. <laughs> Pinocchio. And he carved a wooden pussy out of a log and it came to life. But in the original Pinocchio story, they hanged him at the end and they had to go have the author rewrite it because everybody liked the story and brought him back to life. That's like your fucking ugly dick that doesn't fucking work. Nobody's ever going to want it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly bald freak. Nice. All right. So let's go on to Canada. Some of the guy you don't even fucking know that just got fucking damaged. He's not damaged. He just is disabled. Everything he's got to fucking do something sexual with somebody else just to piss me off. I was fucking working, so good fucking job. Aw, come on. Don't be that way. I love you. Oh, well, 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 yeah, you're proving it. I showing some other guy your pussy. <laughs> I didn't show him the whole pussy or even the pussy hole. Through your panties. Oh, well, here you go. Go ahead. Here's your fucking chance. Bye. Is that showing him your pussy? 
I never showed it to him. Uh, oh, you just showed him, showed him part of them. What a great fucking job you're doing. I didn't. You yeah. be fucking, you wouldn't be fucking into only me. I didn't show him my pussy. Where are you getting that from? You always said you showed him, you always said you showed him part of that. He just saw it through my panties because I was holding the doll up. Yeah, I saw it through your panties because you were holding the doll up. You couldn't fucking keep your fucking down down, could you? I had to lift you down up. Lift your fucking down up some more for other people. I think it's so fucking funny. No, I'm not. You're just it's not very that fucking way. funny to me. There's no way that I'll ever marry somebody who yells at me as much as you do. Maybe I'm you should think about the stupid shit that you do. It's not stupid. You want me to be fucking cussing you? When you lift your fucking gown up and show guys you're pussy? I didn't do that at all. You're fucking joking. I didn't do that at all. I dropped the sidebar of my Sorry, you shot me. You took your fucking gun up. You shot me with panties. Are you done? What's the purpose of lifting your fucking gun up? Are you done? If you're a threat to some other guy, I can see your pussy. Are you done? If you were fucking thrill, and then a hard time they're keeping me. Are you done? No, I'm not fucking done. I'm fucking pissed. Mm -hmm. You want to be just loyal to me, obviously. Obviously. But you want me to trust you? Collectively, we've spent about five minutes on the phone. If you don't count the spaces in between where you've hung up on me like a little baby. And that yeah, well, stop saying you guys are fucking pussy. And that whole because at a good fucking time, if you would have stopped your stupid bullshit, we'd be kidding next to you. Effects. This is what happens when you listen to Lauren too long. What the hell? All right. Viral effects. I'm sorry. Exactly what happened. I'll get it out. They keep yelling. So as soon as you're done, let me know. You already told me the shit that you did, so... Are you ready? There's no way you can fucking change that shit. <laughs> Are you ready? What? What? I swung my legs around to hang off my bed, and I put the bar down so I could show him my punk rock Barbie that I took a picture of and sent it to you. And I took it because Emma put the little pull string from an old doll, she said, in the letter. And I pulled it. And when I pulled it, her feet pulled my gown up. And I said, uh-oh, you saw my panties. And then I pulled the Barbie dress up so he could see the Barbie panties and the pubes that were drawn on. That's what you're jealous about. Are you fucking kidding okay, me? Yeah, yeah. You had to make it known that uh, the fucking doll lifted you down up. And oops, you saw my panties. Oops. Oopsie. Yeah. Yeah, couldn't fold the fucking gown underneath your legs, should you? No, couldn't take every step possible to make sure the gown ready to fucking tie off. No, I don't think about that when I move around in my bed because I'm in the hospital and everything. So, yeah, no, I couldn't yeah. take every effort to that. Do shit that shit seems to happen a lot. It shit seems to happen a lot that you don't think about the stuff. Like yeah, here. Isn't it? Want to see my ass? Yeah. Want to see my ass? I'm laying on my side. Want to see my ass? Yeah, baby. I said. The fucking bullshit needs to stop it with the sexual bullshit with other people. I want to see your ass. 
Now that's what you said to this kid. I don't want to see his ass. He has to wear a diaper from now on and a colostomy <laughs> bag. He no, you are. You want you want him to see your ass. Very true. Very true. You laid on your side and fell your you know, fell your gown up and said, "Here, you want to see my ass?" Derek, do you want to see my? You don't ass? remember that? No. We are gonna make that guy mad again. Whatever. He's being a mad asshole. Being mad assholes and my fiance won't stop with sexual bullshit. You're not my fiance anymore. I'm I'm fiancing with other guys. I'm just my boyfriend right now. My favorite thing is the fact that all these characters, all played by the same people or person, whatever. He doesn't even question it. They all sound like Emma. They all sound like Winnie or whoever. And he just can't grasp that concept. I don't understand how that's possible. Just don't get it. Why do you feel the need to make me jealous? I'm not trying to make you jealous. I'm just being who I am, yo. Word to your mother. Okay. Good old gorilla face. Bye. I'm tired of you fucking seeing that, brother. Bye. <laughs> Bye. What do you want? I'm sorry. You're not sorry because yeah, you keep fucking exactly. doing it. I'm just laying here. I asked you to stop, and you keep fucking doing it. You okay. sound like a fucking church of car people. Calling I... my mother fucking names. <laughs> Isn't that fucking smart? I just do it to make you mad. Um, right, burn phone. Yeah, well, why the fuck would you want to do that? Because he's so cute. It makes literally no fucking sense. Well, why do you want to? You're calling a fucking elderly lady names. That sounds like fucking dumbasses from the church of Cod does. You're right, but fucking I'm not, retards. I'm not calling her names to make her feel sad. I'm calling her names to make fun of you, baby. Cause you get so mad, it's funny. You, you need to fucking stop. Why? It is not funny when you call my mother fucking gorilla face. <laughs> How about I call your mother fucking monkey bath or fucking <laughs> penguin face or? I would actually find that funny as well, Lauren. Uh, Brad, I, I don't think, I, I mean, I do think at some point he thought, um, something's not right. Definitely, um, I, I wouldn't say a hundred percent that he thought it was fake, but I think he's bored. I think he's desperate. And... I think sometimes he's just willing to turn a blind eye to it. I mean, look at what he puts up with. Admittedly, like, look look at what he puts up with. I mean, you have to be desperate if you are okay with your significant other acting this way. I mean, there's just no other way. But as far as you think it was completely fake, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I, if they were, if I were guessing, probably not. Elephant butt. <laughs> you don't care because you don't care about your mother. <laughs> Elephant butt. I care about my mother. Call her buffalo butt like the Evans used to do to Bookman on Good Times. Do you remember that show with JJ? <laughs> my mom's an elephant butt. My dad's a buffalo butt. My husband's a jelly belly, big fat old bear butt. And his mom is a gorilla face. <laughs> and and Dan's just like a statue of a Greek god with the Irish kind. You need to stop doing things to piss me off. It's not funny. Your shorts are so short this morning, baby. I'm looking at your cock head. And even your cock looks disappointed in your clothing choice. <laughs> Probably gonna get cut off again because I'm in the same area I was before. 
First time you got cut off. Aww. I'll call you right back. I will call you right back if we. I will call you right back if we get cut off. Okay. All right. I'm gonna cut off yet. I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. But what happens? I really need you to stop pissing me off today. You feel the pee coming out? Or you just see it go through the tube. Ah, it's all in the bag down here. It can help that. I think, why don't you read them alone? <laughs> like Reese's Pieces, you? yes. Jesus Christ. I you just fucking get alone. When I got into surgery, they put a tube inside of my pee hole, too. Well, I don't have it anymore. I'm gonna have mine forever. That's okay. You can still find a boyfriend or a girlfriend, or like if you're gay or bisexual. Like Forrest Gump and Lieutenant Dan had group sex with those two hookers. You could probably do something like that if you, you know, because I'm gonna get married soon, so I can't show you any more sex. Like, or talk about it with you. My husband will get mad, but. I could probably find you a girlfriend. I know a girl named Emma. She's kind of a slut, and she's Mexican. She'll probably suck you off. Why is she there? What does she look like? Here's a picture. I have a picture. Oh, I have a video of her fucking some Jeez. guy. Look. Oh, thank God, dude. Hey! Hey! Fuck you, hey! The fuck is wrong with you? I'm going to have to fucking fire. Oh, my God. Look at that. Holy shit. Hey, let me see it. <laughs> sorry. You're sorry. You just signed the fucking paper with Dan and Emma. Dan, are you and saw anybody in that fucking video? Oh, I forgot about that. It's a good thing I signed it as Oh, gay. gee, I forgot. You said, fuck it, I'm just to show them having sex. You forget what you sign, a legal fucking document, so you can get your ass in trouble. Delete that fucking video off your phone. Tell that kid not to fucking say oh, anything yeah, for about sure it. Oh, yeah, for sure he did. Something's broke. It. Hey. You know that video I forwarded to your phone? You can't say anything about it. I have to delete it from mine now. Delete it. Delete it from his phone, too. Am I going to be I able to... my fucking home. Am I going to be able to fuck that chick? Yeah, she's going to come visit me tonight. Are you Are you still going to transfer I'm out? I'm saying you're going to be able to tell you. What the fuck? <laughs> Son of a bitch, why are you... Why do you fucking keep saying stupid shit? She's seeing some guy, but it might not be that serious. All right. <laughs> Damn, look you need to look at them the fuck Yeah, they're big, huh? All right, I can't talk to you right now. All right, that's all right. I got something to do now. <laughs> all right. All right, baby. What's up? You better stop doing stupid shit today. I'm telling you, I'm at my fucking wits end right now. What did I do? All kinds of fucking stupid shit. You can't leave that fucking kid alone. Are you fucking serious? Leave them the fuck alone because you want them so sexual shit. So shit that you fucking trying to leave a document on that you would never show anybody again. Why are you not fucking thinking? I'm sorry. Is sexual shit that important to you? I want to see if I can make a quadriplegia hard because then it means I'm truly sexy. <laughs> Leave him the fuck alone. <laughs> Leave him the fuck alone. Say it one more time. And say it means that much you then break up with me. 
I don't want to do anything like that. I just wanted to see if I could make his pecker heart. It's science. It's not. You really can never mind that fucking bullshit. You want me? Never mind other fucking guys. I'm tired of that fucking stupid shit. Lauren Armstrong. How do you know I understand that? Lauren Armstrong. You gotta get yourself in trouble. You gotta get yourself in fucking trouble because you. So what that fucking video is to another fucking person. And if anyone doesn't do him a sexual favor, well, she sent me a video of you and your boyfriend, and, and I was hoping you'd do that with me. Huh. Not a whole lot of fucking thought process you're doing there. She might like it. Yeah, are you going to like the lawsuit? No. Hey, what can you do to my friend? Because your pecker doesn't work. <laughs> I lick her pussy till she comes. <laughs> yeah, do that. Do it today when she comes. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, how do you know your friend even watch that? That's your mom, like, because she's not going to. He's a kid. He's 19. You need to leave the fucking kid alone. He's going to be 20 in October 18th. <laughs> your daughter's October fucking 18th. age. Your son's age. No, well, yeah, he's my son's age. That's true. My son's 19. Leave him alone. He doesn't pick up on the fact that that's no, his birthday also. He's not sexy to me anymore. Thanks, Lorne. I'll be sexy to you. Go ahead and have him. You can break up with me right now. I don't want to break up with you. You think I'm sexy? No, I can't think anybody's sexy, but well, Lorne Armstrong. Him. He's the only sexy man in the world. I don't think he's sexy. I know, but you're not now, because I'm in love with somebody else, so. You can fuck my friend Emma. She'll fuck you. She she pities people like you, so she Why would you fuck. say that? It's just a pity fuck, baby. It's okay. Fuck the Daniel. I can't talk to you anymore. Are you happy now? Uh, I would have been happy if you would have left me alone to begin with. I have a burp inside of me. You want to hear it? Oh, never mind. It came out silent. <laughs> Hi. What? Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm trying to get over here and pissed off. You fucking stress me right out. You're yelling a lot. I love you, but try to calm down. I wonder why I'm yelling a lot. Trying to make sure you don't have to get fucking sued. In WWF, they shave their chests and armpits, and they're all shaved except for one guy. And that one guy's name is Razor Ramon. He's named after something you shave with, and he's all hairy. What the fuck is up with that? Right? No, no, I don't watch it. Oh, it was from, like, when I used to watch it in the 80s. Now it's different because they have, like, big old chichos and it's a soap opera. Big old chichos. Like, I'm all for girl power and girls whooping ass, but they just, like, want girls to get thrown around so their boobies will jiggle. Like, I jiggle him. See, yeah, I jiggled Emma's titties and he came all over them and he drizzled it like a caramel drizzle frappuccino. I guess mm -hmm. you have special shit. I'm horny for you. I want to put my cheese in your chicken nugget and have you dip all um, in the sauce. <laughs> I'll probably I'll lose my fucking voice again. Well, yeah, so stop yelling, baby. Maybe that will teach you to solve your problems in a more effective manner. Well, maybe if you start thinking. Now I'm stretching out because what the fuck are they never going to do if that kid opens his mouth? He's not. Emma will give him a blowjob and he'll shut up. He won't say anything. She'll remove his catheter and suck his pee hole. Who gave him a blowjob? Will she really do that? Yeah, she will. She'll totally suck it. I promise. No, you don't fucking promise. Where are the medical professionals and all this? Why the fuck are you doing this shit? I'm trying to make him a happy person because I was mean to him earlier. You said I have to be nice. 
uh, the DR is going to come. You know, she's probably not going to give you a boat job. She's probably not going to do anything. She's probably if not. She has a boyfriend that she's in love with. But it doesn't hurt to ask. How oh, should I ask her? Well, hey, hey, hey word. I think you're hot, and can I see your chichis? And she'll show them. She shows her chichis? Yeah, she'll show them to you. She'll at least do that, right, Lauren? You can ask your mother. Can I see yours? No, oh. I have a boyfriend. All right. You said you would show me earlier. I know, but I'm not going to now. All right. I want to apologize for whatever it is you're making yourself mad about. Oh, you mean like telling some of the guys that you're going to show me your tip? I said that because I thought he was going to get transferred out. And I wanted him to feel happy before he got transferred out, but now he's not, so I'm not going to. You need to not, you need to leave your fucking sexual shit away from other people. A miracle. Okay. Oh, why you fucking do this shit? Sorry. You're gonna lose me because of it. No. None of it is fucking funny to me at all. I'll only lose you if I cheat on you. You said, and I'm not, and I haven't. You're just yeah, trying to make well, me feel. Showing other people, showing other people your fucking bottom part. That's cheating on me. God, no, it's not. You showed Emma your cock mm. on live. Let's do this. Yeah. Unless they're there to take care of you, they do not need to be seeing your fucking shit. What makes you... They don't need to be seeing your ass. They don't need to see your pussy. They don't need to see your tits. This is all self-explanatory shit. <laughs> okay. You're right. I am a bad woman. I'm sorry. Keep it up. You're going to lose me. I don't want to lose you. And I would think you would stop doing this shit. You don't think you've done enough of it? No. I gotta sow my oats. Oh, okay. Break up with me and go sow them. I don't want to break up with you. Break up with me. I guess you better leave all your oats to me. Okay. Cool. <laughs> that was cool today. It was okay. I'm glad it's over. Me too. I'm glad that my work day is over. How'd that go? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why are you sorry? I just told because you what I don't it was. know very much. <laughs> well, not many girls do know much about construction stuff. I like construction. <laughs> I didn't expect you to really know what it was. Okay, <laughs> I don't know a lot of stuff. I had to switch positions. I'm sitting down. Did it interrupt your schoolwork? Kinda. <laughs> You're kinda. so cute. Yeah. You said kinda. Ooh, like a little squeaky mouse. Interrupt. Uh, <laughs> just about everything. I just said, gee, don't lose me here. I don't want to lose you. No, I won't lose you, but I really do have to get ready. I gotta take a shower. <laughs> I know. I'm almost done my cigarette. Are you smoking a cigarette right now, baby? No. I wish I was. It shouldn't take you that long to get ready. Okay. I I don't want to. Let go of your voice yet. You keep doing a squeaky. <laughs> I really don't want to hear that. You guys. You don't see anything. You want to see me do it? I really don't want to hear that. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, it sucks to be you, Lorny Pooh. So sorry. I stopped it. Hello. I stopped it. It's so funny. 
You're getting so mad, baby. All I'm trying to do is celebrate your history. <laughs> No, I'm trying to get you off the subject so you stop thinking of noodle dick. Hey, come on, man. You don't have to be mean. I'm sorry. Okay. I've got almost half a tank right now. Put another twenty dollars in it. So and you're still putting it all over again. Stop talking. What are you supposed to bring in the bag? So I just extra pair of pants. What do you mean? What are you supposed to bring in your bag? Uh, overnight clothes. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hi. And. And. I don't want to hear that fucking thing. Tell me. Remind me. Your extra pair of panties. I don't want to hear that. What do you want to hear, baby? I thought you wanted me to wear those. I'm, I'm going to get out the phone. Why? Everything I try to do to I'm cheer you up. I'm just too pissed off right now. I'll sing you a song. It really is magical. I agree. Huh? Are you proud? Yeah, I'm proud. Okay, good. All right. Yeah, break like a hammer. Yeah, break like a hammer. If you want, get at me. Bitch, you're gonna be sorry, cause I'll break your soul, I'll punch your eye, I'll break you like the hymen between your thighs. It starts with the innocent tease, then isn't their ass destroyed. I'll call you fat with the face of Bill Nye, I'll break you like the hymen between your thighs. If you try to come at me, I will beat your ass, then lick your ass. Then I will cut a bitch down with just one small phrase. You ain't the first I drove to suicide. So tonight, when I cry, I'll break you like the hymen in your thighs. You got a lazy eye and sell your light. I'll break you like the high between your thighs. It's by Jizz and the Mammograms. I can just see him sitting there with his eyes twitching. She jizz in the Mammogram? Yeah. Emma gave me a punk rock CD. It, this one is the Girl Power CD. And it talks about how a girl can be strong and doesn't have to have, be sexy and can still be strong and valuable. Is not a sex thing. So I chose. You're valuable, but you won't. You won't get away from the sex thing. So I chose that song to inspire me to change my behavior. So thank you very much for the lecture, Dad. No, the lecture that you need to need to give you. I know. Did you like the song? Especially if you love me. Did you like it? I sang it for you. Oh, Mia's getting in the bed. Who are you talking to? You! God, of course. Yes, I like that. Do you think I have a nice voice for singing? I think you, I think you have a beautiful voice. Okay. Maybe we can do a but song I'm prejudiced. together. I love your voice. We don't have to do the country, but we can do something that doesn't suck, baby. We can do something together. Yeah, we can do lots of stuff together. Go to the park, 
and point out the animals we would have sex with and joke with each other and share corn dog by the park and go to the zoo and watch monkeys throw poop. And then I can, like, we can go to places with lots of elevators and I'll just go in and fart and we leave everybody in with the farts and giggle. Right, baby? I'm sorry, you know, I'm sorry I get so stressed out. I'm sorry I get so mad. And even after all no, that, no shot is. that stuff. Hell? even mm -hmm. after all that, he still is the one that ends up apologizing. I think that's hilarious. But you kept saying I'm going to lose you. I never even did any sex on this kid. Everything had to be sexual with him. Oh, my God. Holy shit. You him. You didn't that? You didn't pubic hairs on your daughter's pussy. Emma you drew him that. I just showed him that. But Emma did it. She drew pubes. <laughs> and your gown one wound up growing up. So he saw your panties. That's true. He told me that, that you showed him your tits. I did say that, but I didn't mean to. It was a false, empty promise. Like how you said you're going to pay Betty back. Well, I didn't think I would ever be held responsible for that promise. I thought he'd leave. Don't ever say that. And listen to me. Don't, don't try to punch me just when you do something wrong. I can't punch you. You're too far. My paying Betty back, my paying Betty back is not a false promise. So don't, stop punching me with that bullshit. All right. I will when I start seeing Evidencia. <laughs> Evidenciando, or whatever it is in Spanish. Evidanzos. Is Tony going to be the godfather of your child when you have one with somebody? Well, we mean with somebody. You don't want to have a child with me? No, I had a fucking hysterectomy. Oh, well, what makes you think I need a child? I don't need, I don't need a kid. You don't? No. Well, you need one to get off when you think of masturbating. You're a dick. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> It's a funny You're show. You're pouring on the fucking heat today, aren't you? Yeah. It sure is. Why, because you want me to break up with you? Find somebody else that you want? Yeah. I mean, no. Yeah. Stop saying stupid shit to me today. I'm hating it. I'm really fucking hating it. Two plus two is five. That's stupid. Are you getting paid to say this stupid shit to me? God. Shut up. No. Are you getting paid to talk to me by Xavier? And yell at me, try to make me feel bad and kill myself. Not even close. Wow. Well, okay then. Come on, it's a fucking green light, you stupid fuck. Hey, be nice. I want to get out the phone. Say bye. Say hey, bye. All right, folks, that's going to do it for tonight. Um, I saw a couple of people talking about Sundays with COD. I don't know. May or may not be happening. I don't know if that's confirmed yet or not, but um, if it is, then I will be on tomorrow right afterwards. If it's not, 
I will be on sometime around around that time. It's around like seven, eight o'clock Eastern time. Um, but yeah, it's always a fun time hanging out with you guys. Um, now I was, they said there was a wrestling show or something on for tomorrow. So they weren't sure if it was going to be on or they were still having it. I don't remember. I don't know who said it. Somebody said it. Um, but yeah, if, uh, if it is, I'll be on shortly afterward. So just keep an eye out. You guys would be so kind to leave a like on your way out. I would be so, so thankful. And yeah, that's it for tonight. I love you all. Have a good rest of your evening. Okay, bye.